Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, <laughs> we have two very special. Special. Special guests. Yes, Mr. Jamie Foy is back with the homie Patrick Promen. Yes, how are you guys? What up, what up? Good. I don't know why I'm back. No, no. <laughs> Jamie, man. Don't say that. Okay. <laughs> we love you here, I was just dude. here. You were just here when? I don't know. It felt See, like it wasn't even, that long ago. It was months ago. You don't dude. even remember. Months? That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. You That's don't even know, ago. man. Every time we have an episode, there's like 85 comments, bring Jamie back. It's like a big chant in our comments, yeah. bring Jamie back. Well, I'm back. Hey, everybody's happy. <laughs> I know I'm happy. And we brought along with you Patrick Promen. Yep. Dude. Hottest dude out right now. Well, Bro. In, in skateboarding. Hot fish oil. He's spitting that hot, hot fire. Yeah. Man. Hot fish oil. <laughs> hey, congrats on everything that's been transpiring in your world right now. Everything's looking good. Bright Thank future you. so far. We're already turned pro. <laughs> been on real for two years. Come on, man. Thank you. How proud are you of this guy, man? Not you yet. Know? Proud of him for sure. I mean, it's funny because he's always trying to beat himself up. Like, oh man, I got like super hungry. But I mean, it was funny because I knew prior to him turning pro that he was going to be pro, and we were literally sharing a room like right prior to that on a on the Boston trip. And he was just like, man, like what else do I got to do? Or like, oh man, like. And I was just like, dude, it's so funny. I already knew what was going to happen. So <laughs> you already he's had like, it. He's okay. also like the most positive, like optimistic dude, and like. Well, yeah, you gotta be like, all you right, know. here we go. Which you're here for a, a reason, man. Do your thing. thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a I was always telling him, you're here for a reason, and it's not because you don't do your stuff. So, now, did you guys become good friends because of New Balance trips and stuff like that, or nah, how did goes, you guys? Oh, it goes deeper than that. I don't know. Oh, okay. Too, too long. Because you guys yeah. aren't really. You got, you're on d different. You're doing some math right now. Like yeah? 15, I think. I oh, mean, really? 15, no 16, yeah. That, <laughs> that young, really? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. How so. the Woodward, 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 I was, Woodward. Woodward. Woodward, I was uh, 16, I think. 15 or 16, yeah. Damn. End of 15, beginning of 16 is when I went to Woodward for the first time, yeah. And you met you met Patrick there? Yeah, I don't. I, I, I stayed a, f a couple weeks, I think, and I'm not exactly sure what, when exactly it was. I mean, that's the thing for me sometimes, like, you know someone for so long, it feels like, like the, the lines blur when exactly it happened. I remember exactly when I met him. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, let's hear it. There we go. Right, yeah. He does. So we're at the top of the skate park, and uh, I'm walking up to him with another homie. I don't even know who I was with. I think he's from Florida also, and he was like, that dude right there, he's so beast. And he was with, you were with another homie, and I thought he was pointing at him, and I was like, that dude? He's like, no, no, this dude. And I was like, oh, there's no way. <laughs> and, and at the time, Foy was Come like, on now. what do you mean like, there's he was no big way? Boy Foy, dude. And, yeah, he was like little and chunky and like... <laughs> So I was like, well, and then that whole week he was just like, like going crazy, and I was like, oh okay, it was that dude he was talking about. Is that funny that that made an impact on you and you remember that? Yeah, it's I don't know why, but I always I don't, really, I don't remember the exact moment, but I do remember just being there, uh, and I mean meeting a bunch of people because I mean like that's where we met so many homies yeah. was at Woodward. So mm -hmm. going to Woodward and meeting so many different homies and. Because it's kind of like up in the northeast is in Pennsylvania, so the Woodward East, and going there it's like so many big cities aren't too far from it mm -hmm. you know like me and my mom we drove all the way from south florida to go up there so i'd get to meet so many people that were from like dc area all pennsylvania new york all types of places yeah sick and yeah definitely i'm me and a bunch of homies met pat and we would skate and then i remember like two years later i think we went again the next year and then the year after that me and my homie drove up there and we stopped in dc for go skate day yeah and stuff sick. yeah it was fun this but shop yeah. in dc used to do an event called uh the shop was called palace five mm -hmm. and they would do mm -hmm. an event called palace to pulaski where they skate from palace five all the way down to freedom plaza and the street would be just like hundreds and hundreds of skaters you know down yeah, to crazy. Crazy. yeah. And, like, that that year we got we were skating uh pulaski and then just got chased out by like horses like yeah, the oh, cops yeah, on horses yeah, yeah. cops are gnarly yeah. down there i mean I, it's so mellower funny. now but sorry yeah. i've never been chased by a horse it was so funny. <laughs> never never Part me and the homie are just like what the hell we're just skating down the street as fast as we can but it's just a million people scattering so it's like yeah. we weren't really chasing yeah. us but that's what it felt like for a second because you you majority i mean you thailand bangkok right is that where you were born mm -hmm. and raised but majority of your of your upbringing was virginia beach right no virginia like oh virginia northern mm -hmm. virginia like 
Most VB Near, dude. Oh, Most my. VB dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess not. I guess around with that. This is like an ongoing joke. I'm from Northern Virginia, like literally next to DC. So I can kind of, kind of like claim DC, but everyone thinks like Virginia Beach or like North Carolina or even like Florida. Okay. But Most VB yeah. dude. <laughs> That would be then Northern became Virginia. became the most <laughs> North Carolina dude, <laughs> <laughs> most NC dude, and now he has Florida plates, so it's funny. And so now is he the most LB dude? Damn near. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he of, absorbs. There's a lot of LB dudes. He absorbs. Yeah. LB's got a lot of. Yeah. So you would take the train up there to go skate. Yeah. Uh, so the last train Pulaski. was uh, like in my town in Springfield. And I would take it like an hour up to DC like every day. Okay. And I just grew up skating the city. What's that ride? Twenty minutes, thirty minutes? No, like an hour or oh, like forty five. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're okay. So that's a good little ride. Some stops, some yeah. Put the headphones in. But still, cruise, I mean, to be yeah. able to take a train out there and skate Pulaski yeah, and all that stuff, so, yeah. so sick. Yeah. That's that's one of the dopest cities in America. I feel like, Dude, for, for sure. sk- especially for skating. I would trip in the park police there, because I would go there all the time. My family's from there too. Mm-hmm. But yeah. there was a certain point where I. I didn't know what the park police was and what the regular cops were. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you cops, cops don't care. Cops, cops don't, don't give care. a shit. It's just the park park police. And right? they were, I think they're so male or not, but they were gnarly back in the day. Yeah. They would like, yeah, chase you out with fucking horses and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the random. most random thing. Doing too much. The I most got, Washington D.C. thing. <laughs> I got chased like, out at like two in the morning. And a friend of mine got caught and went to jail. Got, they threw him in jail. Yeah, yeah it's crazy, man. Dude, they're assholes. Yeah. There's open plaza, too, is the thing. It's just, you're just in the middle of the street, just hanging out. Yeah. And I, they get so pissed. I don't think it's late. I haven't been there for a while, but I haven't heard any. Is it, It's it been mellow now, right? No, it's been super mellow now. Okay. Now, it's, if they pull up, you just like walk off. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. Like, okay. yeah. they're not like confronting you or anything. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I feel like it's gotten a lot mellower in a lot of spots. You know, that's how yeah. it was like me growing up, going taking the train to Miami. You just go to a spot, and then as soon as the cops pull up, you just scatter. And right. now it's just like, you know, you just pick up, start leaving, and they're just like, all right, peace out. It's funny, yeah. though, because as, as, as old, you know, you get a little older, too. It's like, mm-hmm. am I really going to run right yeah, now? Exactly, like, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm too old for this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Let me just exactly. pick my board up. Yeah, you good know, day, officer. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We know what's going to happen, so exactly. I'm just going to peace out. You're either going to give me a ticket, or I'm going to go. Like, yeah. let's, And you want to deal with that paperwork? Probably yeah. Not. <laughs> exactly. Come on. You said something interesting before the show started because, um, you know, your last name, Promen, right? But maybe you, you get Prayman a lot. Mm-hmm. When I first, you know, when we were talking about you on the show, I didn't know how to, I was like, is it Prayman or Promen? I'm not sure. You asked for weeks on that. I did. I, did. Weeks. I was He's asking like, for help. Like, 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 Promen, dude. And it's like, but well, you we said, have the answer. Yes, right? But we, I don't know, because you said that you didn't even know growing up. So it's, uh, so I grew up in Thailand. So like, it's a different pronunciation. How um, is it in there? It's Praman. Praman. Uh, Praman. But then in English, you would say Pramen. Pramen. But like growing up, uh, I'd heard Pramen a lot. So Pramen, Pramen, like it was hmm. same deal. I can see how like, it's confusing though. Yeah, I wasn't like. But you kind of have to go off of how your family yeah. says it. So, and everyone in my family uh, has a different last name besides me. Hmm? Like my mom and my grandmother, like I have my dad's okay. last name. Okay. But yeah. Hmm. So, and they have like my mom's like maiden's last name and whatever. Got mm-hmm. you. Okay. Oh. Do you speak Thai? I do. Yeah? It's like, not that good. Well, you grew up probably speaking it, but then later on just kind of... So I grew up in Thailand until I was like seven. And then when I left, I only spoke to like my grandmother and um, my mom here and there and my grandfather. And uh, yeah. When I go to these events, like for like the Olympic qualifiers and I, yeah. I, I'm with the dudes, like the Thai team and whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, I speak to them and it's, it, it comes back a little bit. Or when I go back to Thailand, and I spend some time there, like... It comes back, but it's still like... Yeah, here it's rare. It's not like you're talking yeah. to many people in Thai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, especially. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where yeah. are you going to go speak Thai? <clears throat> thai spot. Yeah. yeah like a, thai vegan. And if go that, a, I like going to Thai like food spots and just like yeah. not speaking Thai. And I can hear you like... Can, like uh, they're chatting uh, there, you know? <laughs> They're so, like, look at this idiot at this table yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> fully talking shit. You're like, mm, I know what you're saying about. Yeah, me. I know what you're saying. <laughs> For the most part, it's very, dude. Very one of the best skateboarders of all time, man, is Ty, dude. Eric Costin, yeah. bro. Come on, man. He's he's a half, but he's like, he's Ty. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was looking up some like the Sodies, and it has like the list of them, mm-hmm. and it says like what country they're from, and it says Thailand for Costin. Which Hell is yeah. He's one of my favorites of all time. Just saw him at the dude. I had to tell him. I was at the dude. I was like, Costin, oh, you, you are one of my hey, favorites. Hey, you got to let him know. Yeah. You got to. Yeah, yeah. 
He's the best. Big legend. He's the best yeah. legend. Yeah. yeah. So, dude, you just turned pro. Congrats on that, dude. Thank you. Thank you. And listen, you've been on Unreal for like two years now, right? Mm -hmm. Just give or take. Mm -hmm. And they, they found you by some contest online, right? Or something by Metro. Was Metrogram or something? So, uh, it's a weird story. Okay. Um, it's, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> it yeah I just like how it it smile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Because I think I know the remember yeah. the, that so, back in the day there's yeah. a year it was it was it's called the spitfire a year to burn yes it's like an instagram contest and uh my shop entered me without me even knowing and that same time uh excuse me what was the shop called palace five gotcha oh, yeah. okay in dc okay and ahead. uh that same time i was going to seattle for a best foot forward and um so when i landed and i turned my phone off like airplane mode or whatever my phone was kind of just blowing up from this contest and I was like, what the fuck, like tripping out, you know? And I figured out my shop ended me. And then at that contest in Seattle, um, at the finals like night, I met Jim and Damon and Christian. Um, he's like the brand manager at Real. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I was talking to him and he was like, dude, it's crazy. You like, uh, I was just talking to you this morning, like through email about the Spitfire contest. And um, he was looking at my setup and I had a real board with thunders and spitfires on already. Okay. I was like, I'm right. sorry about it. Yeah. 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 Then, <laughs> All right, repping. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Jim was just like being super kind at the contest and like chatting with me and um, Jim Thibault. Yeah, yeah, Jim yeah. Thibault. That's yeah, weird. He's being always. kind. That's weird, right? Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's always like the biggest dick. <laughs> no, he's the best. But just like <laughs> we were talking on, yeah. like like in Seattle and I was just stripping out. I was like, damn, this dude's like like He's so nice. He's you know? the best. Yeah, oh, of course. He's, he's the best. insanely nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then of when you're a finalist for that Spitfire contest, they send you like uh, some wheels and a shirt, whatever. And I remember just like one day getting a call from my grandmother, and she's like, "Hey, you have a box here." And I was like, um, "I was like, oh, can you just put it in my room?" And she's like, "I can't even pick it up." Oh wow! And I went back, and it was like boards, wheels, trucks, like Damn, all the whole that. nine. And I was like <laughs> tripping, dude. Like, yeah. That was your first box. You weren't. Were you on the team at that point, no, or not I, even? I, that was just a flow. That was just like flow, flow box. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't. But it was like random. It was like out of nowhere, you know. How did they even get your info? Uh, I think from the the Spitfire contest. They were gonna send some wheels over. Oh, but okay. that day, I met Christian and Jim. He was like looking at my setup. He's like, "Oh, eight through eight, I skate the same, whatever." And he like he was analyzing. Oh, all shit. Shit, okay. You know, and plot, That's yeah. a, he's a smart dude, man. Yeah, we're yeah. plotting. Yeah. Was plotting. Was <laughs> dude, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Got you on that on that good stuff. So I mean, then how how long after that did you get on? Um, so I got flowed when i was 20 that okay. that that contest in, in seattle i turned 20 gotcha and i got on when i was like 25. oh you that, put in some work then some really work. Yeah, yeah, yeah was it ever ever in your mind i mean you're getting older right i mean in skating the the man am thing has to be entering you know was it was ever a question like damn am i gonna get on to this I or should I, should I start to look for something else now? so i was going to, i was going to college i was like back home i was going to school i was like mm. doing you know and then yeah. that kind of happened as i was going to school and like yeah i was i just like held on to that with everything i was like so scared to ever get that call like hey it's not working out you're in virginia or whatever the case was you know and then I was still skating a lot too at the time, and like yeah, you're always going and filming with Jevons down in North Carolina yeah. and everything, right? I'll, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, yeah, you're always putting stuff out, even the whole time you're doing that. Yeah. So, so I was like working, going to school, okay. but like still filming and putting out footage and stuff. And so yeah. you were doing your thing. You were working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you I sending? Think, you just sending footage every a couple um, so every so often, or yeah, just sending in updates and like working on projects with them and like mm -hmm. filming and like yeah, I feel like Jevons always had some projects going in north carolina yeah you driving down to him or going up to you all the time i would take the bus down there to north yeah. carolina i didn't have a filmer back home in virginia so i would take the bus every like other week okay like six hours five hours and where then, in north carolina were you going raleigh fayetteville oh, yeah. like greensboro yeah all okay. over and just like yeah. there's I mean, like jevons will take you anywhere <laughs> yeah there's just two years where i was just going down there every other week and just filming with those dudes sick come back up uh, go to school, work. I was working overnight too at like a military base. I was like stocking shelves and shit. Okay. Oh, okay. So like working and then like, yeah, the weekend comes, take the bus down, come back up, work, go to school and then the grind. for like two years. I, I feel like that's the grind, like that, dude. Yeah, I know, grind, right? Yeah. But I feel like timing is everything too. Like everything happened for you, I think, at the at the right time. For sure. Because Reel's a, it's a big squad. No, of it's course. It's a big squad, a hard, yeah, and it's, it's hard, one of the best squads yeah. in the industry. And you were saying, like, oh, like, man, amp thing. I was, sure. For me, it was like, I never even, to be honest, I never even thought I would be, a, like, the dream was to just be a part of it. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. like, when I got on, I was, like, 
25, 24, and I was like just stoked to even be there with sure. these dudes, you know, like not even I wasn't even like I was just so stoked. And that, that that's the best attitude to have. I mean, for me growing up, it sponsors it was the farthest thing from my mind. I didn't even think it was obtainable yeah. being sponsored and all yeah. this stuff. Like yeah. these guys are like damn near celebrities in my yeah. eyes like untouchable mm. like you grew up like out here right and like sure. so it's like but from virginia like right, man, it's imagine. so like yeah, you're out of the mix out yeah, there yeah man you can't yeah, even it's see, you can't even fathom it yeah, yeah. Like, you don't see you don't see pro skaters growing up over there or like yeah. Yeah, you saw like well, sure. over there with like bobby yeah but he was like and he would go back and here forth and, there, and yeah. he was like gone all the time where he was like out here filming or like you know pause Pause podcast. Okay. I need to tell you guys that this episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens. Ooh, we love Athletic Greens. We do. This is gold in a box, right? Love this stuff. <laughs> With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and Kelly's favorite thing in the whole world, aptogens. I love there aptogens. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Well, not only that. Ooh, tell me, Drone. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. Nothing budget, only nothing, buttery, right? Nothing budget, yeah, please. Yeah. But it also supports better sleep quality and recovery as well. Tons of people take multivitamins, but mm. it's important that you choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's also better when you, you know, uh, not to have a full medicine cabinet full of, you know, supplements. Oh, man. You know, wait, wait so I can get rid of all my supplements? Yeah, I was just over at Kelly's house the other day, opened the cup, I was hit with supplements. Get the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them in there. <laughs> to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with oh. your first purchase. All you have to do is just visit athleticgreens.com slash nine club. That's N-I-N-E-C-L-U-B. Again, athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today there which is. is athletic greens <laughs> take over your health now did you feel the same way in, in florida though kind of removed from all that stuff i mean there were Kinda, a lot of people i out feel there, like though. yeah we just had our own local scene like i always thought like the you know the flow kid like what when i was younger what were the flow kids like the local flow kids that were getting sponsored those were like my local pros like right. in my mind i was like oh like, i feel that they're gonna be like the, they're they're gonna make it you those know who you look up to and yeah yeah, like, yeah. like, like, like when i was i mean i started skating when i was super young <clears throat> and like when i was i don't know like eight nine ten skating at the parks i would see like all these older kids that were probably like you know 14 15 16 in that round in that range and they're just like killing it doing kickflip into grinds and all that stuff and i'm just like oh like they're gonna be pro next. They're doing the things I'm watching on videos, you know. So I was. That's who I didn't even know who the people I was watching on videos really were. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, like that's what they're doing. So they're, they're next up, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. So those are like the guys I really focused on. I didn't even know like when I was super young, like names of pros or who did what. So yeah, I was just like, it was what watching, was around you. Yeah, it was just like the local scene around me because mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, far. Like I didn't even. Re I'd see stuff on the videos and they're like, yeah, it's in California. I'm like, oh well, that's. Because they exist over here. That's so. all the way over there. <laughs> That's like, a different world. Yeah, over there. exactly. Yeah. But I would see like what they did locally and be able to go to those spots in Miami and stuff like that and be like, oh wow, like oh this is oh this is gnarly, you know. Yeah. And that's like the stuff that you re it's relatable to you, you know. Because right. I see all the crazy stuff on videos of California with schoolyards and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, psh, it looks fake. Like, yeah. it's, all, <laughs> like, it's like you know, it looks yeah, fake to you. It's yeah. like. A school in Florida is like a bunch, a big fence, and everything's inside. You know, like yeah. there's no tables out there. Yeah, yeah, there's no. There's like a schoolyard. Is like yeah, all only thing out there is a basketball court and a football, like a football field. Like that's mm -hmm. really it. Damn. Yeah. So it's like it Little, seems like a different world, but it's cool because it's like then you start to grow up and you start to realize like oh like there's like this is how you kind of make it work mm -hmm. and like kind of see where people like never for me being in Florida a big thing for me was like damn they stayed in Florida. You know, I was like. Once I got to that age, I was like, well, I need to get out of here. Like, you know, yeah. I just need well, to separate you, myself from like the rest in the sure. sense of like, they're the best here, but you need to go somewhere else. You know? A lot of people are like that. There was a lot of Venice dudes like that too. A lot, a lot of people stay put. Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that's unfortunate because there's a lot of talent out there. That yeah, could it's be. like a comfort zone, you know, mm -hmm. and when well, they, you, for sure, when you test that comfort zone, you kind of can like maybe tap into something else, you know, and it, 
helps out. Totally. I feel like the people that really make it are the ones like yourselves that go out and try to make things happen. Like you're going to North Carolina, you're going like up to Miami, you're going Tampa AM. Yeah, you're yeah, going to all these you things. Travel, you gotta travel sure. around to like make things be known because you mm-hmm. could just, you know, be the local, local hero, like star, but like, you know, where is that how far is that gonna get you? Exactly. Exactly. Scan the same things. Yeah, over, over, exactly. Over and then you go to like, oh, let me go out to California and see what it's like. And then you go there and then you're like go to the skate park, you're like, wait everyone's this good yeah yeah like oh damn I, I need to step my game up again now you know and it's cool because you put yourself in like uncomfortable situations in the sense of where you're like you're comfortable with yourself you're like oh like yeah i'm good or whatever and then you see that you're like i got a lot to learn you know but it's cool because it's what puts you in the spot to learn and right. like yeah. get to the next next spot next spot next spot and being around homies you know always like push like me and him going out skating being like yo you can do this or you should try this or yeah you know feel like wh- whoever you surround yourself with is like the most part for like sure the best part does he inspire does jamie inspire you because like jamie's gnarly he does, he jumps on some <laughs> he jumps on some shit so is he though i that's what i'm saying i'm wondering yeah, yeah. like does he do you guys push each other you know for sure he's like yeah oh, we're, we're, we we be competitive about oh yeah, really it's, it's, like a like, friendly okay. it's a friendly competition like, and it's never like field it's always at a skate park you know like okay oh, we're just hanging out like, okay talking. but if you yeah. guys show up at the same rail if we're at a spot like i mean we're gonna help each other out in the sense of like get each other hyped i would right, say right, right, yeah right 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 because yeah. i mean we both have completely different bags he expects a lot from me though there's Ooh. times where i'm like <laughs> hey man this shit is 20 stairs deep i'm not hopping on this right now hey you gotta try to <laughs> you gotta try. People. like you, know? you gotta be like hey man you can do this you see and you know maybe you try to hop on a 20 rail by yourself is never fun usually i'm the one skating spots alone but then when yeah. i go out with him i'm like god Happens. damn dude you're this but is do you guys like skate a little like too much for me right now and then right? i'm skating the spot by myself but do you guys yeah is that a thing do you guys skate gnarly handrails together for sure yeah i mean i mean we, i try to get people to jump on things with me all yeah. the time I have, like, <laughs> yeah. I have a cap though there's Good like luck. you know he's just like there's no end what's with a cap for you dude like 17 18 really okay yeah. Like of like what's two like, more like, stairs? <laughs> but like what's front, two to three more, more like stairs? But you're like, gonna keep that going. What's two and three more? What's two yeah. or three more? I mean, we're well, gonna you know, get that's it. how you help yourself. Two or three out, more is me like this dude front not crooked, clearing the rail. This dude front crooked El Toro. It's like I'm first saying. try blacked out. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, front shove back fifty to sixteen rails. So yeah. True. Got smoked for like two hours. I mean, front crooked tour first try. We're not built the same. You know. Hail married it, you know. <laughs> but but, but, uh, yeah. but skating on a session with Jamie must be No, it's good. I like it. Inspiring. I like it. Too. I like that energy on a session. I like that he's super down to hop on some shit. Even first, if I'm like a little nervous, he's about it. So right, right, right. And maybe like, to see somebody I mean, else. Push, push, you push each other. Yeah. It's like yeah. I can see he's like, I'm nervous. And if he's nervous, we're both nervous. And we're like, well, one of us has got to try to break the seal. Sure. You know, it's nice. Sure. You know, and like, like I'll be tripping out on the bondo or like tripping out whatever. And he's like, that other perspective is nice when you're on that when you're in your head yeah and you and he's like i don't know it's always nice to have someone at the top of anything you're skating to like just like take yourself away for a second or talk talk smack on the spot you know either one you know you're like you could channel out and be like all right forget this whole thing we're doing or you're both up there just talking shit about the spot being like why the fuck we're here you know damn it oh he's going for it keep it going uh, i gotta go for it now yeah Yeah, you just keep it going yeah but you're uh, jamie you're pretty like analytical you're pretty like you're yeah, you're I in try, tune with a lot of stuff. Calculated risks. Calculated risks, right? Sure. Are you the same way? No. Pat, no. He's you're Hail just, Mary. Just, <laughs> you're, Hail, you're Hail Mary. <laughs> just, just go dumb fast and nolly at it. Yeah. Just try. Yeah. Try whatever. He, just, like, he goes really fast. He skates really fast. What I've noticed with him is he'll get to a rail and do every single trick and then try his trick. Oh, mm. yeah. I'll like hop Depends on, on the grind rail. and then I'll oh, just yeah. like try the trick you what know? are we talking about though 50 50 i mean i'll yeah i'll grind board. a rail so many times like okay. that's the main thing is like if i go to a big rail i don't know what we're talking about here really it's all theoretical but <laughs> if we're at like a big rail say like a, a 15 or something i'm gonna grind it a lot mm-hmm. and if it's a good rail then i'm gonna like from feeble it knows like i would like to do all that stuff right before i do like a hard trick that i'm thinking about do like a really hard trick before i th- i'm doing it just because I feel like it's like if you go to a skate park, you know, you just like you go to the, the rail that you're skating at the skate park. You don't just go and try your hard trick at it. You know, you're yeah. like, oh, I'm at the park. I'm going to grind it, 5 it, feeble it, smith it. So you get to learn like the speed, the feeling, mm-hmm. the, the everything, you know, you hear the, the lock in. Yeah, the lock in, stuff, how yeah. steep it is. You know, you get to, all right, this is the impact from going this. Like, you know, it's just like 
trial and error over and over and over. So, you know, it's just like, yeah. hopefully if you land all your warm up tricks, by the time you get to the hard trick, you're like, your body's ready you're for it. You're good to go. Yeah. And, but Patrick, you just full send it. You 15 just... stairs deep, I'm not doing every single trick. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to grind it once and we're going to try the trick. So you are going to warm up on it and feel it out at well, least. You're yeah, not going to just go it. for yeah, it. Yeah, I'll sure. grind okay. it. I'll, I'll get like one, one or two grinds and I'm yeah. like, all right, this is like, this is enough. I'll grind it 10 times. I'll grind it 10 you... times, try like, um, yeah. Are you guys, that. let's say it's both, you can skate front side or back side. Are you guys going front side or back side 50? Front Depen side. Depends on the size and the trick. Or like, well, what, like just let's just say you're warming up. No, nah, just front oh. rails down the middle of a, of a, oh, of a front grind for front thirteen, grind? Yeah. 13 okay. rails. Just yeah, front grind. We say yeah. Patrick front grind, Jamie front grind, front grind. Yeah, because you guys are both fine. regular. Yeah, we're both. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. yeah, I think. I mean, you do cross lock. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's the bubbly water. <laughs> uh, you do cross lock front side though. No double I, heel. I don't pick it. Just whatever I get into. What uh, you usually pick? it's heels or cross, but but it's. Like, I think it's. I mean, it's the only two you can do. Really, yeah, unless you do toes and. Yeah, sheesh. but you're doing it on like you're 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 seeing how you land on it, and then you decide from there. Uh, yeah, usually it's heels, but sometimes it goes cross. Heels. I'm not mad at that. Usually, what it's are you heels. aiming though? The rail. <laughs> That's so interesting that you just send it, and Jamie, you are you you're cross locking, or are you going back front side? Uh, I'm going double heels, heels. Yeah, double heels, yeah, yeah. back side's cross lock. And that's yeah. funny that you don't even you don't. I don't discriminate. That's yeah. what I meant. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what he meant by hail mary, though. It's like you know, calculated uh, risk, hail mary. But it's funny, like two different. We have two of the gnar gnarly skaters here, but two different techniques. Like I love that. Yeah, it's, it's so interesting. Everyone has their own like method of madness for sure. When I was yeah. younger, I couldn't front grind that well and I couldn't backside board slide down rails that well and it was made it really hard to warm up on like certain spots were you able to back grind I could but like uh, that gets a little back grinds and front boards get a little hairball when it gets a little bigger you know yeah yeah that's for me it's like opposite I was always front time I didn't learn how to back grind until like years after I was front grinding stuff hmm. like back grind back grind like, seems scary I yeah I was just yeah. like not you know it wasn't a thing yeah. and then I like learned when I was probably like I don't know 16 or something 16 like, yeah probably 16 17. at Woodward yeah, exactly. Probably. <laughs> Damn near. Jamie, you keep your wheels like really loose, right? I mean, they, I they don't, click, yeah, they I don't, clack. You could like move yeah, them around a but, lot. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with locking in or anything. No? No, yeah. The only reason I do that is because when I put my bolts on my wheels, you know, if you tighten them too much, the, the threads of your truck stick out. Right. And if you're skating, you know, a lot and you're, you don't want to change your truck, change your trucks all the time. Your axle, if you're landing primo or like hit a ledge or something, the axle will get like you yeah, know, mushroomed out. Yeah. And then yeah. if you go to change your wheels God, one worst. time, yeah. you know, like <laughs> take off the thread and then just, you know, just strip your whole bowl and you can't do anything. And you only brought one pair of trucks on a trip or something yeah. like, you know, it just know, screws brings you. like multiple pairs of trucks? Yeah, it's pretty. Reef you got to carry a reef yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Or yeah. you just don't tighten your right get all the way so that has nothing to do with locking in nah, or nah it ha only uh -huh. has to do with i can i know that my uh my bolt won't get stripped mm. but like is your wheel like really really loose it's i just tighten it until the thread is flush like, with the wow you can wiggle his wheel oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah, wiggle yeah, it yeah, back yeah. and you forth can, yeah and that does that you could you're just the, used to it i guess but that makes no difference in the way it rolls no, JB Gillett used to do that. I, I really. I've had, yeah, what? How are you going to notice that difference? I don't. I mean, with that much, I don't know. Nah, okay. with the weight and everything. Nah, you're not going to notice. Right. You're yeah. not gonna notice. I guess I've never tried. I it. lock in everything. I you. I swear. I lock if in someone, everything. Like I lock in everything, and you don't notice the difference. Okay. Like literally. Yeah. I don't. Everyone. Some people are like, oh, like. I think Ashad skates two inner washers. He skates three mm -hmm. inner washers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he wants that. Oh, that's right. Gap, yeah, that's right. You know, but that's because he skates 147s. I think. Mm. you know yeah. but that's see that shad's another person it's fun to talk about stuff with that because he's yeah, a he's a wizard he's got yeah, yeah he's like you know the, his yeah. method of madness you know it's, right. he, he's very analytical about stuff too so yeah. what, are you are you method mm. do you have a method are you he's uh, hail mary <laughs> hail mary <laughs> shape uh, board wheel side he you, doesn't really know much he just oh my <laughs> he doesn't know much I have he just does throws it. together he just does it i have a certain a5 shape that i ride okay a5 what's the wheelbase uh Oh my god <laughs> and then <laughs> he said no he said no he comment about no like, comment yeah. it's the longer one and then i skate 151 thunders okay. and then like 52 okay. spitfires and so yeah. you don't really you're no. not really too worried how, about long, how long is your board <sighs> dude i wrote it down yeah you just I, rely on tim or, or someone to send you the same yeah, board every time just send me the it's same this, stuff it's this one shape that it's a point it's a hey, send one. me that one shape yeah they know it's called the g85 if anyone's wondering okay oh, there you so. go okay 
Um, and I you pop don't know my, how long it is though. No, I don't. Ah. It doesn't matter. And I pop, I pop <laughs> wheel, wheelbase. You don't. You're not sure. No. Uh, pop my shields though off my bearings. That's, <laughs> okay. that, that's like a. That's a madness. must. I'm, I'm yeah, a you popper. Got, you pop your shields. Dude. Yeah, I do. Uh, the same. Yeah, I, do the I don't. Same. I hate shields. You pop Wind, shields. Yeah, and then Windex. A lot of people that hit crazy. me up about that because I talked about that on the show. I've seen people make videos about it. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. It works though. I mean, it works. Yeah. Degrease your bearings because you want that. You know, brand new bearings are terrible. They're like all oiled up. Sounds like your board's waterlogged. Yeah, it's like, pretty bad. It's I agree. Terrible. I, I'm with you on that. I yeah. love dry bearings. Or you just get Bronson Ross. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice plug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bronson Ross, straight out the package. Valid. <laughs> all the sound you need. I love that. It's the best sound. Ah, Arguably I mean, the best sound. Yeah, you can hear it when you're skating. Mm-hmm. Like, like not when you're, you hear it when you're rolling, but like, it's funny. I've like noticed like, if I'm watching someone skating, you can hear when they're popping. If there's a long time in the air, it's still like, shh. You know, oh, it's just so nice. It's very, yeah, very satisfying. Yeah. Very soothing. It's not even the sound for me, but like, if you have your bearing shields on your, like in your, your wheel and like it comes off, but it's stuck between the bolt. Oh, and the yeah. oh, oh. nah, terrible. Dude, I have friends that just like will let that fly. Yeah, for just like, let it ride. What? Dude, yeah, it, yeah, for it, sure. It bothers me so much. That's why I pop the ca- shields off. Yeah, I'm for not sure. a shield guy. I hate shields. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna call anyone out, but I, I, I've seen y'all. <laughs> call them out, man. Let's get down to the nah. button. Let's you gotta start calling them out, dude. Yeah, yeah. Jack Olson. I've Jack seen Jack Olson. Yeah. Oh my god, he's one of the best dudes out there. He's one of the best dudes out there. Just leave his shit clicking and clacking in there. Yeah, he needs a pop machine. Uh, that's <laughs> the wow. worst. Man. That's amazing. Hey, but uh, speaking of the real team, dude, when you turn pro, they, I mean, they, they got you good. I was bummed I missed days, it. They dude. got Damn you it. good, man. Yeah. Did you ever get your pad tie, though? No. You never got it. <laughs> I was like s- s- too nervous to even eat. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have any got you had the fam there and everything? Yeah. Man, nervous. That was great. Nervous. I mean, no oh, idea. They were like tripping. You no know? idea that was going on? Dude, not at all. Yeah, they got like, his ass. <laughs> I'm hot. I Is that fried of me to not Damn. know, though? Like, I don't know. I, I mean, there was a lot point. of people but there, so I was like, how did you not know? I but feel, I guess, yeah. yeah, I mean, Kelly, sorry to interrupt, yeah. but I, I feel like when people turn pro, there's a little thing that, that, that kind of sets yeah, them that yeah. like why is this person here why are these people here? i didn't this is weird i didn't know like dude i had friends fly into town and i had fa- my family's never even visited me here i've lived here for four years now really? my grandmother my mom my dad they've never visited me yeah there's mad homies okay. here like that were from new york and my all best over, friend from, like, from virginia and like north carolina like they all came, like Dude, I had no clue. Seriously? Yeah. Nothing that's why I, tipped you off. you don't check locations, man. You got to check locations. Dude, who's doing that all the time, though, you know? It's fun to check locations. Like, yo, what's the homie up to? He be <laughs> checking. He be checking for you sure. You share your location with a lot of people? Oh, yeah. I got all the homies' locations. Really? Yeah. People know that you're here right now, okay. then? I mean, if they check. Yeah. You're like, damn, he's at the nine club again? <laughs> oh no, nah, they'll probably just be like, what the fuck are you doing in Venice? <laughs> yeah. They'll call me and be like, what are you doing in Pasadena? Why are you why are you over there? And I'm like, Damn. what are you talking about? Why do you know I'm over here? I love but it's funny because he shared his location with me, so he's like, How do you know? I'm like, What what do you mean? Yeah. How do I know? I'll just play with him and he'll think some stupid weird I love stuff. Jamie's yeah. stalking people, dude. Nah, yeah. it's like, you know, if you get finished doing something, it's this is LA, so you can't really go back home, you know? Like yeah, you sure, can't like sure. just go back to somewhere. So you're like, Oh, see let me Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm done with this. I ain't got really plans. Oh, traffic's terrible. Let me see who's around. And then oh, I got like five homies all within 20 minutes of me right now, you know? <laughs> and you just hit him up, like, yo, what's you up to? You know, test the that, waters, dude. maybe pull up. Yeah. yeah. It just so makes you, it better. Where were you, Jamie, when this was going I was on? in Florida. Florida. I was Damn. bummed, couldn't make it. Yeah, it's my, yeah. bir- it my dad's 80th uh, birthday, wow. though. So, Happy birthday. definitely an important milestone to be there for. For sure. So for sure. It was good. But look at all the people that were there. I, mean, I, was, I, heard... I was there via FaceTime on oh, you Delo's phone for a second. Okay. Oh, you on Delo's phone? Yeah, for a second. Yeah. I heard. That you had broken your wrist a couple weeks before I this. I broke my humor. I broke my humerus right here. Okay, but you weren't even in. Like you were. Uh, people were hugging you, and I heard that you were like. I guess. I guess when it, when before the surprise, they told everyone to like not come and rush me, and like, okay. hey, his arm. This, this is like one of my first days out of out of the sling. Mm. So I was like super gentle with it. Okay. Um, because you couldn't even tell right here. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, I I was like hugging the fam and like holding some of the boards, but like. There's a moment where I dropped one of the boards because I couldn't even hold it up. It's st- it was it's still heavy. so really? yeah. yeah, it's too heavy. That atrophied. Yeah. Damn, I mean, you got a little teary eyed, right? Look at him. Yeah. Aww. Dude, that was the first time in my life where like, I I I fully like was in like disbelief. I was so tripping. Sick. You know, it Hell took a second yeah. for it to process, and like every time I looked. So around, funny knowing like a month board, before. Seeing, dude, yeah, so like good. everyone knew but me. Oh. <laughs> so good. And like seeing like my friends. He's like, all like, dude, what do I got to do? Seeing the board, seeing like. 
And then like I didn't even see I saw the boards coming out of the truck. Didn't even see my family. You're like, why You're, the hell is someone passing so me a board like, out of this thing? Yeah, and I grabbed the board. I'm looking at it. And I'm oh, like, and they were giving you the board out of the truck. Yeah, and I, I, I you didn't even see it was my family <laughs> in the truck. I was like, out of body experience. Yeah, I was. Yeah. It took so long for it to process, and then got your I, ass. Yeah, and I, you know, <laughs> and I saw the so fam, and I was like, dude, what the? You guys are crazy. Is it hard to keep a secret like that? I mean, it's your boy. You know? Yeah, it's like, just funny. How, yeah, we. How do you even know him? We were sharing a hotel. I mean, you knew for a minute, huh? Yeah, it's like a probably like a month. Yeah like a little before well because like tim they hit me up like yo where are you gonna be this day and i was like oh, i'm gonna be no, out of town there. i'm gonna be out of town it's my dad's <laughs> 80th birthday come on <laughs> right, right. uh but yeah and it was cool being back in florida for my dad's 80th birthday but yeah i was like watching i was like man today's the day damn it, i'm gonna miss it but all good uh got there during uh via facetime with d-lo but yeah, it was funny uh, just watching all the stories and everyone. I was like, oh yeah, he got got for sure. You get it. Got it was good. Yeah, and it was funny knowing like a month prior because we were like maybe what was that like two when you hurt your arm mm-hmm. which was what like three weeks two like, weeks yeah like three weeks maybe yeah so three weeks prior we're on a trip where where he broke his arm mm-hmm. I left right before that to do I had to go do some other stuff in Florida but he's all like man like I gotta like do this like he's going to spots he's like man i'm not like skating this spot i was like hey you don't have to skate every spot it's all good dude like you know you just keep going and the good one will pop up and you go the do a sick call me, trick dude. you know like, <laughs> it's all good if you go to a spot you're not really feeling it, it's all good but if you're feeling it then try something and then like he'd be really hungry sometimes i'm like hey man you don't have to do that here it's all good dog. Like, did you feel like when you hurt your arm that you were gonna it were like postponing like turning pro somehow even though like i feel like you probably knew somewhat he didn't so, even know though nah, he so, didn't know so, at all he was probably just tweaking he's like I, I remember he was like, oh, I got to film for this part. This and that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to get him to come with me to do something else for like a weekend. And then he's like, oh, I got to film this part. I was like, what's one weekend away? And he's like, dude, like I got to. And I was just thinking, and I knew him the whole time. I was like, bro, this fool's turning pro anyway. Like, you do nothing <laughs> they, for they, the next week. They told me weeks. I had to film this. The, I was working on a project and it was going to be like going towards that. Okay. But it was going to come out like maybe like fall end of the year yeah like uh got your ass <laughs> yeah oh so they knew you so you knew that you were going pro at I knew, some point they, t- they told me I, I had a conversation with uh like uh christian about it maybe like a month before three seasons came out okay and it was like he told me about it and i was kind of in the car just like tripping mm-hmm. and, he, and it was like he was like yeah a year from now it was like, like on the know. right tr- they're just letting you know you're on like the right yeah, track yeah yeah, you yeah, know? yeah and like I was like, which okay, is cool. what i kept good, saying good over and over and, and over <laughs> so after the three seasons i was just like all right let's just start working on the next thing and just yeah, like yeah. keeping the the you know go, keep it going yeah and uh yeah so you worked on that video part six months yeah your pro part yeah yeah did you What's wrong? You I, did you like it or no? I, I liked it. Okay. I liked it. There's a, I always like oh, I've been talking to Tim about it and like I like it. I like how it came out. Sure. I just felt like uh like to me it wasn't finished. Okay. Like uh, but every skater feels broke that way. Your arm, well that six no, months yeah. is quick, dude. Six months is really quick and compared to your other parts, you could tell you had a little more time for. It's it, like I, mean, I just feel like we were onto something Ooh. like like we I had a foundation for something really good with this one. But then like like I mean, a part can be short and sweet and it can for the time period that it was and like I think the stuff that we got, like, I'm super stoked on it. Yeah, no, it like, came I'm out happy great. With it. I just, like, I don't know. You want it to be as. No, that's good the thing. As if, if, if it kept going, you probably would have been like, oh, I need this trick. Oh, yeah. I'm knowing this guy. It oh, I need forever. this trick. Oh, I need this trick. It's like, there's going to be another part after that. For sure. And then another part after that. I think the the first two real parts that I, I worked on, we had, like, more time for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure we put it out. I was ready to put it out. And we, like, you know, this one was like. It came out without me even like, oh, it's done already. What the? Yeah, you they, know? they got then, they got your ass. Yeah, they got my ass. <laughs> 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 gotta be careful. Gotta got be careful. <laughs> yeah, they got my ass for sure. <laughs> they got your ass. So like when you you so like your intro part to real, mm-hmm. which by the way, there's a funny story that I know that, that okay. So like you had Pocket Mag fit following you, right? Mm-hmm. You did a followed with Pocket Mag. Mm-hmm. You played the song mm-hmm. in your Pocket Mag that you used for your intro part. Mm-hmm. Was that? Did you know you wanted to use that that song that, as a part? That came as, out, I think, right a little bit right after, or like. No, no, the Pocket Mag came out first. Did it? I think so. And then later, the the real part came out. I think I just grabbed that record and I just like played like, oh, this is a song that I like from this record. I don't okay. even think I was like, oh, this is what I'm gonna use. Or, really? You know what I mean? Okay. Also, when there's a camera on you, you're just like, oh, oh, here's. A yeah, you're trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Huh. So, okay. It's a yeah. d- great song. Thank you. The intro, the intro to real that video part great song i think we got lucky with that one no i mean i mean you're skating along with that song it was very mellow it wasn't like you know 
I always love mellow it, skating with gnarly, with gnarly skating. Yeah. I always think that's awesome. Yeah, mellow music, gnarly skating. Yeah. 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 But like yeah, the good. style you have is mellow and then the skating is gnarly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is it. We're watching it right here, but you got to watch the part with the music. It's so good, man. It, you, you chose the right song. Thank you. For my, sure. my homie Alec put me on to this song, actually. And uh, I'm a big fan of the artist. It was uh, Richard Ho Howley? Richard Holly. Richard Holly. You said in the caption of this that you had helped edit it too? Uh, not this one. Oh. Was it the, one of the videos it There's said... like a little short part. That oh, came is out that what it was? Between the two parts. Um, the stuff that they didn't use for this this one. Spitfire? And I kind of... No, it's just like a little real short part. Okay. And I helped edit that one. Um, this one was all Tim. Different yeah, But like this one I had like... This one was like kind of me first getting in the van and then like getting on real. So it was like mm -hmm. maybe like a year and a half of like... Or like even almost like two years to like work on this one, you know? Yeah, so how was that? Because like you real... <sighs> Listen, we're talking about all these uh, shot where I mean legends, right? But you're down in Long Beach, like you had to go to multiple trips with them to kind of like feel everybody, or for them to feel you out, I yeah. should say. Uh, I think it took some time yeah. for sure. And now I'll t I've talked to Tim about it, and he was like, "Yeah, you were pretty quiet and like uh, that's really kind of the best." Much the first time you came around with us, and I was like, "Hell yeah!" I was so nervous. Imagine being from like Virginia, yeah, and then you move to California and you're skating with like Ishad. You're you're not gonna be able to like. Yeah. What was the initial oh, yeah. move from? So you're out on the East Coast. What was the move to get to California? Like, did they tell you, "Hey, you should come here and skate with us"? Um, I think it was like, I filmed one part with Jevons, and I think, and then I remember we were working on like another project, and kind of towards that second one, I remember going to like a Tampa Am, and some of the real dudes were like, "Hey, like, you know, would you?" be down to you know come out here and get in the van and i think there was like a little bit of a conversation yeah and i went on like a few phoenix sams you know mm -hmm. i met the dudes and like and then yeah i like i think the hardest part was talking to the fam and being hey i'm like leaving school and i'm like gonna you know that was big yeah, yeah for sure my family's super like school oriented right and like uh first generation living in america and going to school and leaving to go pursue this crazy career right which they aren't even here to see right yeah. they're back home yeah and they're not seeing the packages show up the the things that are going on well they saw a little real bit time. they saw a little bit of it when okay. i was the beginning there. of it yeah, yeah. Oh, the beginning of it gotcha <clears throat> and then um yeah you're sending them stuff uh, that you're getting in like little magazines and little things i wasn't even getting in. stuff in the mag like that really because there's no photographers to shoot out there it was yeah, we were just okay. filming you know yeah it's kind of yeah like, did you have I photographers in florida no i mean there's some but they're not really now but there was a couple growing up but now nothing really and then also photos that was like none of the homies took photos you know because like growing up it was like the homie crew that's what i'm just saying. like the homies like mm -hmm. going grabbed get, a video camera and like one of the homies footy, was a yeah, filmer yeah. you know not even worried about but that. what about in long beach I live with one. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So you want yeah. <laughs> <laughs> zero to a hundred. Um, but yeah, so we, I, but are you said once you're getting this stuff in the mags, you're sending the stuff back to them. Uh, I mean, dude, when you're flow, you're not really getting the mag that much. So like, I mean, I guess there's only one mag left. Yeah. I had like, yeah, a, I had like a thunder part. ad, I think a little bit ago, like a okay. shared thunder ad mm -hmm. when I had a, a little part out, but like that was it with like mm -hmm. magazines when I was younger, mm -hmm. you know? Right. 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 And then, um, yeah, see so it for like a year and like, ship my car out here and Damn. go to Long Beach. Fuck. Yeah. Well, at least I I all, it, it's funny, a lot of the team used to be based out of San Francisco, but most of it now is based down south, right? Yeah, LA for sure. Yeah. And I think to be yeah. on, like, like you don't, not everyone has to move to California to pursue a skateboarding career, but I think with being on real, like, that was, like, a step. I mean, yeah, being on majority of companies, it's a step, especially if the company is in California. Sometimes, sure. though. Like, you could be I mean, the, majority. Yeah, like, but there's some teams where, like, you don't really need to do that. Pretty rare. But, I mean, like, it's always a good step forward, like I said in the beginning, because one, you like are getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So you can kind of like learn. Learning experiences come from that. Yeah. And like, you know, uh, I mean, that's what I was thinking. It's like the only difference between what I did and like a lot of the dudes that I watched grow up skating that I thought were going to be pro, no problem, because they were gnarly. Like, never, never left town? Yeah, they just never left. It's hard. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just uh, there's only so much you can do, you know? in your local area especially when it's so far from like the mecca of skateboarding totally. which is like yeah. california i you mean don't ever want to like live with that feeling of like what if yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, that's sure. kind of what i got down to was just like hey like me and the homies were just yo like what are we doing are we gonna just keep doing what we're doing here or are we gonna like 
to switch it up. Dude, these dudes, like, like the Florida dudes, like, remember that little wave when they oh, came out hot? God. Like, swinging? Yeah. I think the wave is still going on. That, yeah. like, <laughs> no, it's a tsunami. Sure. Yeah. It's still going crazy, but that little, that little, I remember, like, coming out here and visiting, and, like, dude, we were at, like, Florida crib, and, like, y'all yeah, all, yeah. like, yeah. Because that's where I, I, I lived like, in Long Beach and, first. Like, yeah. Trans World, and I'm doing so with Skateboard Mag, and I'm just this kid from Virginia, like, what is damn, y'all are doing it. Like, this is so, it was, like, inspiring, you know? And, like, yeah, and like having friends out here made it really easy for me to transition to move out here. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, y'all fired me the hell up to move for sure. Like, oh, I'm stoked to hear that. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was just, just because I feel like it was just like a, a I mean, it's like a tumbling effect in the sense of like I, me and me and the homie Josh did it, and then a couple more homies came out, and a couple more homies come out, or Tyson, Tyson and Ish were like the first Floridians that I knew that mm. like really like I really knew that like moved to california yeah because tyson Cause, peterson he came out a little while ago yeah he came out a while ago with his mom yeah his mom like was fully just uh don was fully just jumped into it like all right you want to do the skateboarding thing like i don't even think he was going to school like just like all right we're oh, going yeah. to california so it was like yeah ish tyson his mom and a couple other homies that were living at the house and then that's when i uh i started doing online school for my senior year and I started going out to California and Long Beach and was staying with them. And I was like, all right, cool. And started getting like some, like felt like attraction going mm. in the sense of like getting to meet a bunch of people. Cause I mean, that's yeah. like a lot of anything. It's you huge. Know? Yeah, yeah. Just meeting, huge. meeting people. Just so Tyson what's was up. your plug basically. Yeah. Yeah. Here, they, yeah. yeah. He, Tyson and Ish, I mean, they, and Don, like they were awesome. Like in the sense of like, just let me croak on the couch and just let me <laughs> sleep there. Like just let me just do my thing. But like, you know, like just, just I was just inhabiting the couch, but uh, it helped me out a lot. And I mean, I feel like I kind of keep the stuff going on now because I kind of do that now, like at my crib. Like, Dude, it's kind of like a trickle effect, right? Like yeah. you see one person do it, so you follow, and then another person follows yeah. another. I mean, you yeah. the whole damn near all of Florida is like just following. Yeah, you know, and it's it's amazing to see. Yeah, it's cool because I, I mean that's the thing a lot of people don't think about it in the sense. I mean, where he came from is like. I would say way harder just because of weather, you know, like being up there, mm. like you got to deal with some cold ass winters. It was, it was fun. like, brutal. you know, you got to <laughs> deal with brutal, brutal like getting a clip in 30 to 20 Damn. degree weather. If, if that, you know, all, we, all you're dealing with is humidity <laughs> and you know, no, you're the rain, but yeah, like, it's rain. But like, like you well, wait, it dries, it dries hella fast. Yeah, you wait yeah. like, all right, today's a wash, you know, like tomorrow will be nice or, or you just drive 20 week, minutes. And we get a week, we get a week of rain or something maybe. And you're just like, oh, you go skate inside for a week and then it's all good. Like years, like if it snows and it's cold for like, a month the outside does not change you know yeah. it's fuck if it's like, cold it stays cold yeah exactly it's like, like mm. california and that's why i was i relate it in the sense of like oh people are like man what's up with florida it's just like california in the sense of you can skate all year round you know? sure here it's like right now it's hot outside like it's getting it's warm. just like dry heat it's like 100 degrees outside but it's like i mean if you can put up with it you mm. can do it you know it's not like you don't have to go shovel yeah, a whole I'd, skate park. I'd rather off, have you know? it hot than yeah, snow. For sure. Yeah, for exactly. Sure. And then when you fall and it's super cold, it like you just, oh. bone, it's, it feels like you're breaking. You yeah, know? yeah. You don't, exactly. dude, you don't so, get used to the cold. It just yeah, sucks every single. It's like year. really like, gnarly. Yeah, I've, I've, I've skated in the cold a few times in the sense of like going on trips, and I'm just like every time I'm like, man, it's so it's buck, you know. And your board feels crazy as hell. Yeah, everything. You leave your, your board oh, in the car so overnight oh, yeah. in the wintertime. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, trucks just Done. stuck. But you, know? you can't leave your board in the car here in the summertime either. For sure, yeah, I mean, you're gonna be, yeah. Mel just melted. Yeah, you know? but sure. exactly, it's an extreme. But that's the thing. Extreme heat is easier to deal with, I would say, than yeah. extreme cold in the sense of being outside and doing outdoor activities you know? listen at least in florida man you could pull up on a sea dew and skate a park oh, skate, yeah, skate yeah, a spot yeah, you yeah. find the spots yeah. off the sea dew dog. instagram dude this guy man I love, it's the best ad campaign whatever oh, man, it is it's it, amazing uh, dude. so good um, your sea dew what's the uh kenny powers so many yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. like kenny pop yeah everyone's yeah. like man kenny power style look at this dude this bro hell yeah <laughs> on the sea dew boys Look at this! I love it. I when I saw this, I was I was laughing, dude, hysterically, yeah. bro. Not to mention that's a great shot. You're just powering. Yeah, you know? looking, uh, JD man, dude, that's a dope it's colorway. Just a yeah. New Balance that, ad that's so hard. Listen, the, the black shoe's dope, but man, that white shoe is white leathers. Yeah, wow, I gotta um, get myself I, a I pair of those, it, man. man. I pulled up to this spot on a sea dude. <laughs> yeah. once. Now is that a true statement or is I that? I said like... that. I said that one time, and it evolved into this whole kind of hectic 
shoot for this thing. But that's a true epic. statement. You pulled yeah. up to a spot on a sea dude. Well, yeah, time. but it was just like not to skate and get a clip, but okay. like just to like peep it. Yeah, it was just like I was on a sea do <laughs> on. I was doing a sea do shoot with a couple people like Leticia. I think she's like an ambassador. Oh and yeah, stuff. so is, like yeah. we were like doing the sea do shoot in Miami. And we pulled up to this spot, this exact spot, but it's like a, a bank to ledge too, you know? Like yep, that's where a lot of people spe- skate it as oh, a bank to yeah, ledge, okay, you know? Yeah, see, yeah. That's what most people skate is the bank to ledge. And they were just like, hey, is there like any skate spots you might know of? I was like, actually, there's. we were literally like across the water in this like little bay, wake okay. skating. And I was like, actually, there's a skate spot like kind of right here. So we pulled up and yeah, I technically pulled up to a spot <laughs> on a sea do. And then I said that one time in the New Balance office. And then this evolved. It's <laughs> stuck pretty funny. Like they're like, write that down. C-Doo yeah, yeah. it just like Jamie got Foy stuck. Out of yeah, it was it was kind of kind of hard to do just because of like timing wise. It's just I'm really busy right now. Sure, sure. The last like yeah, <laughs> last couple of months been really busy. And then Florida, it's like they're all like, all right, we got like four days to do it. And I was like, Florida, like uh, right now at this time of the year, it rains every day. Like mm. at one time, at one point in the day, it's gonna rain. So just working around that was a little hard, but. Thankfully, we got it done, and it came out dope. It's really funny. Did you uh, – now, CD, were your clothes getting wet? Were your shoes getting wet, like riding over Yeah, here? most – yeah, everything. Okay, so we you ollie, I did all the ollie first. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. We did the ollie first and then uh, pulled it. up. It's funny. In the commercial, I have, like – I have a water board that we have at the house, like, in Florida. It's, like, kind of all seized up because it's been salt – it's all salt watered up. Okay. But, uh, like, yeah, we kind of just have it at the house. So I was like, oh, I'll just bring this – my water board and then it's funny in the commercial it's just all oh we gotta pull up a commercial yeah, yeah if you pull out the commercial it's just like me getting off the sea do with like soaking wet board and then I ollie into the thing I'm like oh it's so it's such the so, Kenny Powers DJ so Khaled so crazy DJ Khaled <laughs> so funny. was DJ Khaled there did he nah. roll by <laughs> no nah <laughs> but it was a really fun experience and just like really cool just to hang out with the homies on a on a jet ski all day it was kind of Definitely not a terrible day at the office, you know. Where's the uh, Where's the commercial? I don't know. That Is it? Or it you... might just be on Instagram. Just oh, me pulling okay. up. Yeah. That clip of you jumping off the boat or the sea dude. Yeah, I had to jump off because of Darwin. Yeah, real Jake, one. What happened? Darwin, Darwin. Yeah, Darwin was on my back of the ski. And it's a super, so that that's jet ski is called a spark or something. I think it's called, it's like the entry level jet ski. Mm. Super light. Like okay. most jet skis are pretty heavy, you know. So, but like if that jet ski was like, on the beach and i needed to move and we needed to move it me you and him could just pick it up okay it's like 400 pounds or something gotcha most of them are like almost a thousand or something wow, like that wow really yeah, it's like that one's super light because there's no compartment underneath the seat there's no nothing it's like a base level it's like a stock yeah light. it's like a very yeah. base level jet ski but it's dope because it's super light so it's like a trick ski you can do wheelies on it because you could trim level you can put the trim level down mm. Look, soaking wet board, so oh, good. Oh, shoes too. Yeah, everything's. Oh, it's, they have, yeah. they detailed out that thing too. It had your signature on there. It had the New Balance logo. Yeah. God damn. Nah, it's they they, they kill. Yeah, they had the whole sticker. The whole thing was stickered up with my like, like colorway. Yeah. It's supposed to match the colorway and everything. So, worked out really good. I but love it. with Darwin, it was funny because he got on the jet ski and he was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna try to lean over and take photos." And on jet skis, like a. Uh, motorcycle like when you're leaning over it's like oh. yeah you start <laughs> and most jet skis are pretty buoyant because they're heavy so they're pretty stable you can lean over and you're not going to just roll the ski over mm-hmm. but with this one it's super light and it's super touchy with weight because it's so light and you're supposed you could do power slides on it wheelies and all the crazy stuff mm. and yeah darwin just went to lean over to get a photo and as soon as he like leaned all his weight wow. over it just started rolling oh. and he's in there with his camera gear over like 30 feet from the boat and there's nothing he can do. So I just like, it started, it started flipping and right before it flipped, I just pushed it back and jumped off. Cause I was like, ah, oh, like I was just soaked already. Did he save, did you save the camera? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? He was, the, the ski didn't, it just, it just went whoop and it just went right back to normal. Uh, okay. I was like, wait, so, he didn't oh, be, so you ditched it. So it would, I it would return. It, yeah. And, okay, Cause okay. with me and him and like me and him wait, with the twisting, like right. the, it was rolling over, but without my weight on it and his weight, like it just bounced back. There was yeah. no like protection for the camera, like waterproof nah, stuff. Nah, they were trying to put a bag on it or something, but you're like on the water. It's all windy. Like Dude. there's nothing you can do. Like yeah, yeah. So you saved his camera. I did, yeah, for yeah. sure. Good, good I was like, that was right my there. whole thing. I was like, whole, I was like, bro, if I didn't jump off your K, it would have been done. Yeah. You're going in too. Yeah, oh. it would have been done. It's yeah. so good. It's such a good ad campaign. Yeah, I love it. Man. It's just high. It's so much hijinks. Dude, like yeah. so good. It's so good. And we have to mention too, by the way, because like got Jamie Foy's mom sitting right here, and yeah. like 
the most iconic toe in yep. ever done. Yeah. <laughs> and so people everyone, still probably talk about it to uh, this every, day. Every, every time she's at a, a contest with me or everyone, everyone's just like, the, the motorcycle clip of you toe yeah. it's the <laughs> best. Like, it's yeah, iconic. Everyone, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. It's iconic. Yeah, it's it, everyone's like go-to line when they see my mom. They're yeah. like and That must stoked. be awesome too, to have your mom like involved in that part yeah, and yeah, then yeah. have her a part of that. Yeah, so it, was, it is funny because it was all just the split thought split decision of Ty thinking about it, you know, cause I was just going to go there and get my, my friend to tow me in on my car with my car. Sure. And then he was just like, Hey, what about this? And it was just like, you think your mom would tow you in on her motorcycle? I was like, I I'm sure should be down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, it just so happened. That I was like, Hey mom, you want to tow me in? And she was just like, oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Amazing. And then, yeah, I just ended up working out. Yeah. Thankfully it didn't take too many tries either. I think it was like four or five tries. That's to, not like, bad. Trip oh, that's, yeah. 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 That's not bad. Yeah. She, I think she she went kind of fast the first time. I was like, Ooh, well, you jog, like slow it down a little. It's bit, hard to know? find speed that right demon, speed, right? You know? Yeah, spot for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you're only going like, I mean, twenty, you know, twenty something maybe, like a little over twenty. But like, that's fast though, no? Yeah, it's like yeah, but that's the thing on the bike. It's like you're cruising at that, no mm -hmm. problem. So as soon as she gives it some gas, I get to twenty five. I'm like, right, this is right, way too yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I just want to stay at twenty. You know, was which that is like flat Earth or was that uh, the flat Earth? Flat yeah, earth, yeah, that was all tie because that was might not all be able to pull idea. it up because of its uh, yep, Apple. And Patrick, yeah. you just didn't you backside big spin that and I big spin it and yeah, just we watched it like I watched it like uh, whatever the first 10, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like did you? How did you get towed in for that? Uh, my or, homie Derek towed me in in his on, car, uh, right? On the cars, I think it was one of the homies' cars. Yeah, it was a homie's car. Was yeah. it you just cannot push up to that thing? No, or way. What? No, no, and the ground's like crust, too. Yeah. and the bank's like really long and crusty. And the run up stops, it's like a driveway, so you literally are like turning into the driveway and then you let go. I think finding the speed off. for that spot is like one of the hardest. You gotta, yeah. like, you know, okay. yeah, you gotta, dude. There's a like, clip of Zion. What do you do, back heel, dude? He back heeled it and but cleared he, like. like they went way too fast. <laughs> Whoever was driving was trying to kill him. If he didn't land way that back fast. heel, he would have like got smoked. Yeah, oh, wow. like like obliterated. Like so, you land, you land, and then you roll over this crack. Mm -hmm. He went past the crack. <laughs> yeah, like probably like by like a couple inches. Really? Yeah, like dude, he it was like sailed. What video back was this on? Do you God, remember? It was in Godspeed. Godspeed. Yeah, Godspeed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, Godspeed. yeah pretty yeah. sure it's Godspeed. Yeah. Do you guys ever use bungees? Nah, I'm no, scared of them. Scare the hell out of me. Yeah, I I've was... used, I've helped people use them, and I've used them like once or twice. But I'm definitely not like, oh, I got the bungee. You yeah. know, like, dude, that, things are gnarly. That Even whip, helping that whip, that backlash, if it, oh. the whiplash, if one yeah, of them breaks called, oh or anything, like, your hands are destroyed. I was just, I was just helping the, I was helping the homie get towed in with them and just pulling it back, holding it, letting go for like 20 minutes. I'm just bliss, I get blistered up. <sighs> yeah, you know, yeah. it's like. I, like, I didn't even do anything. That thing's sketchy, dude. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I've seen a rollerblader like use it and not throw it to the side <gasps> and just like let go of it and, oh, roll and in rolls front of him in front of and, it. like yeah, rolls over yeah. the fucking oh. cord. Oh. And, like, yeah. yeah, I know a few people that love the bungee and it's scary for yeah. sure. I mean, it's essential sometimes. Depends but on the, the spot. The day, for sure, for but sure. But it needs to be the right spot because it needs to have like something to tie it up to, something yeah. where you yeah. tie it up and you let yeah. go, it goes out of the way. Like, like that one spot that uh that Sheckler and like Provo skates, like yep. huge over the fence. Yeah. Over the fence, like yeah. that looks like it's a good bungee yeah, spot. Kirby and Pedro. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 in a ditch, you're like, all right, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can't really get in. That's else one there. of the spots I was helping Kirby and Pedro skate it, and uh, Colin was there that day too. And yeah, it was just like, I think that might have been the first day I've ever helped someone with a bungee, <laughs> and it was just like, so much work. Who were you skating with right there? Who was it? It was uh, Kirby, okay. Pedro, and Colin was there oh, okay. to skate that giant Euro gap that yeah. Colin like kick flipped up it. Oh, oh that, that thing. Oh, that, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking right, right, about. Yeah, yeah. The, but we were talking about the, the um, front the, three. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, Jake, yeah. Uh, Jake uh, Wooten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. both those spots you need. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the black top ditch, spot. You're talking about like the ditch ditch. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Yeah. I was talking about the one in the school with like a Euro gap. That thing's gnarly too, yeah. man. Oh, it was so, Drogue so gnarly. Ollied into it. Oh, my God. He died. Yeah. Dude. He died. Yeah. And it got up and did it. He's a tank. Yeah. He's such a tank. But did yeah. you see like Sheck or have you seen Sheckler's new part? Nah, I haven't. He, he try he he goes up it. He like front side flips it. And oh, then he, and he comes back around. No, that's a different one. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. no, he did it there no, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, yeah, did, yeah. he front side flips it and comes back around and tries just tries it and just dies. Yeah, yeah, it just dies. I remember him saying, yeah. "He's like, oh, like I thought it wasn't gonna be that that bad, and it's just buck." It's, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to gauge the speed. The whole parking lot's downhill. It's mm -hmm. all blacktop, and you can't see the damn thing at all. You literally are just rolling up to a a two foot, like maybe no, it's like a foot wall. 
you know, that blocks everything. So you're just guessing. You're like, oh, this is fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I mean, dude, watching Pedro just trying to ollie into it, I would. And while just watching that, you're like, I should, no one should do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah he wanted fuck. to in the line, in like a line, which is crazy. Nobody should do this. No. Yeah. I mean, Pedro does that a lot. He does the stuff that you're like, oh, no one should do this. He's about really? it. Pedro's going to get it done. <laughs> we should talk about, I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, Patrick had his video parts come out and everything. But Jamie, are you, uh, am I tripping? Or was your last like full video part that the Dickies, uh, which one was it? Talking the, about the two week part. The nah. Sunshine State. Was that, did that come out before or after Uncrossed? I think Uncrossed was my last part. I don't know which one. Was that, was that a Death Wish? Yeah, yeah, the Death Wish Uncrossed video. I don't know. It was like two years ago now. It's been a while. Been mm. Sitting on footage for a while so now. We're, yeah, but it's, so we are talking about a couple years. Yeah, Which is kind of weird for you, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like you're always dropping parts like every, you know, at least once a year, maybe if like I, two, three I times a year. I really like to, uh, but it's just so happened where like things like a project turned into another project mm. and then blah, blah, blah deadlines get pushed sure and yeah now i'm just kind of in a purgatory okay but not really because <laughs> i'm just filming you know like yeah. i'm just like you know i'm always trying to get new stuff and it's kind of nice that i have like i've had ample time because i'm not like under a crunch for anything you know sure, i can sure. just like have a lot i have stuff like in the vault like saved up a lot of stuff i'm really stoked on too so it's like stuff where i was this like was this was the yeah. this is uncrossed yeah, I think this was my last dude, part. This, yeah. Oh yeah, the front crook. <laughs> yeah, I dude. think this is my last. Oh, so this was the last part. I think I'm not so. really sure. I thought it was the. By the way, the Dickies part, the sunshine, sunshine state so, with the I song and everything. Yeah, so, that was we Joe talked Faces. about it. It was so good. Man. Yeah, that came out. I think right before this, possibly. Okay. I think. Okay. But yeah, right around the same time then. Yeah, yeah, it was around the same time, and yeah, just this is like my last part. It has mm -hmm. been about two years now. So we're not working on anything, or we're I working. Am. I am <laughs> working on <laughs> a few right. things. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like. A few things, kind of. Like solo parts or a part of something? That's the thing. It's all a part of something. So it's kind of, okay. it's not just me. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a part of a whole. So we got to work with everyone. Sure, you know, sure, wait. sure, sure. You know, Which and everyone's be... busy, you know, on a team. Like everyone's got other projects to work on. So that's kind of what it, where it went with like, on like working on a Dickies video. And then like, you know, Primitive has a video they're working for. So like Frankie and right. a couple of those, like, you know, there's just like certain people getting pulled each direction where we got to like figure it out where everyone's going to work out work together in the sense of like going on trips and stuff so i was going to say like a team video it's like a gift and a curse right yeah, it's like you exactly. have you can work it really you, I mean, is you're stoked it's you're, not just you you're yeah. stoked you're, you're with hype. all the all the homies you'll but be a then part of a project yeah then you're at kinda, their disposal you exactly know, you to, it's not just me like oh i'm done you right. know like <laughs> yeah yeah put it this out yeah this put is my this song. put this put this here you know like it's literally just like kind of been sitting on stuff for a while that i've been really wanting to get out mm -hmm. but i mean thankfully it's stuff that i think is good enough where it's like can stand the test of time yeah so yeah. how do you feel like when you said you put out part those two parts pretty close to each other how do you feel about that would you rather have them spread out uh no nah, i mean i'm down i like kind of like i'm down to put out one part or I'm, I, I just really i don't care i just kind of want them to all come, come out, out whenever they come out yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. i just want it to come out like Right now, just sitting here, kind of like, man, it's been so long since I put yeah. something out, you know. And but what if you had like it that is one hard part, for me. like in one year, and then you had another part come out like a year later? Yeah, and that's cool. But it's, it, I, realistically, I want to do a couple parts a year. Like, if, yeah, if like that's like my main thing is like, why is that? Just cause it's just nice to like you know be like, all right, twenty, you know, twenty secrets, twenty twenty, you know, like <laughs> not even it's like oh twenty twenty, I got like. At least you put out one part, you know. It's yeah. like, I did this during that time, you know. That's what I like. Yeah, it's yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. but then it's also dope if you can get more out. But that's also just with trips and stuff. Like right now, I'm just busy with like skating, all these contests and stuff like that, and going skating with my homies. But then also like working with a group project is like the main thing right now. It's just mm. all of them are group projects. Uh, like the main thing is like Dickies has been like in the works for a while. New Balance, I was working on some other stuff prior to that, so now I can, like, really start digging into that. We've been, we went on, like, one trip so far. I'm going to keep going. And then, sure. yeah, so I feel like I wanted to get some stuff out this year, 
but I don't know if it's going to work out this year. If anything, next year, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. not, I'm walking up in there going, give me my clips. Well, we got a couple of- <laughs> Because <laughs> I need this stuff. Hostile takeover. I need right this here. stuff to come out. I need to takeover this year, right now. Yeah, I just need, I just need the stuff to come out. Just not even. It's just like I just, I'm like, it's annoying because it's almost an excuse on myself where it's like, oh, I've did it. You know, it hasn't come out yet. You know, right. and I go to another rail. I'm like, oh, I could do this, but I'm like, oh, I already have one. You know, mm. so it's kind of like feels crippling in a way I feel you because you know you okay. don't want to like but then at the time at the same time i kind of tell people that all the time in the sense of people say that i'm like all right just do another one you right. know what does it matter you yeah, know yeah, do another yeah. one and but then, when it comes to yourself you yeah know. it's like harder you know For but sure. i'm like ah i gotta stick it up to what i'm saying you know i'm telling them to just do it anyway so i might as well but also i would it it fuels the fire even more to just get rid of the clip like oh it came out like right now i could just go try and you know something that's scary you could really be like all right Instead of doing this and wasting the one that hasn't come out yet, you know, it's like that one came out. Now I can go to the next one, you know, go to the next tier. When Patrick was saying too, like you feel like your part, you weren't done with your part, right? The pro part that came out, you wanted, you wanted more. That's just like my expectation. For sure. For sure. But do you have that same expectation, Jamie? Or are you just like, I'm done. Cool. Put this out. I'm on to the next one. It definitely gets hard with parts in the sense of like being, knowing when it's done. You're pretty you're you're pretty to go with the flow. I mean, I also just kind of just be like, it, it, I'll I'll have I'm just like any other skater you know you're always like oh, I want this and that you know you're just like but damn like all right like realistically you gotta put it in a in a hole and mm-hmm. just see how it is and then you're, if you're like all right like Happy start the that. base for the next one yeah. yeah I mean it's something like Andrew kind of like made it, me realize like my in in the uncross video I had like Reynolds yeah Reynolds mm-hmm. yeah Reynolds had a lot like he edited he edits the videos you know yeah. so uncross comes out I gave him you know so much footage and a lot of clips i was stoked on didn't ended up not even in the video but i didn't even notice until like the next day or like the day after that you <laughs> know right, i was just, right. i swear i think there's this one clip it hasn't come out yet still which is it's a old clip and i'm still trying to put it in something so i can't really say <laughs> it talking cobra exactly cobra <laughs> yeah. it's a trick on cobra but you know i was a trick i'm really stoked on doing and it hasn't come out yet but I really want it to come out, but it wasn't in the Uncross video mm. and Andrew didn't use it. And literally, I think two days later, I was laying in bed. I, I swear it was at night and I was just thinking about it. I was like, damn, he didn't use da 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 on Cobra. Huh. Like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, he didn't use that trick on. I was like, man. You're starting to all put it I together. Really, I was like, oh, like, I got a whole other part here. here. What's going on? It was like, oh, this clip he didn't use either. And, he, and then that kind of made me realize though that like, it doesn't matter in the sense of like, I saw the part when it came out and cause I didn't even watch it prior. He didn't show me like, Oh, this is going to be your part. Like mm-hmm. I went to the premiere and watched it and cause I trust Andrew and all that stuff. Cause I'm also, I'm not going to be like, man, I don't like that. Cause it's like, I don't really know. You know, I, it's hard to edit. I'm not an editor, but so. also Andrew's a good person. Exactly. And yeah, he's, he's trust. He does, it for, he's been, does yeah. it for everything. With you all also, the it's like, stuff. it could have been four years ago. It could have been yesterday. Like you can't yeah, really thankfully right now. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm funny. I, I thought about that. The, like the other day, I was it's like, like, man, a curse, if I do, yeah, I was like, man, if I would do, if I was to like change my, like, hair or something right now i was like man everyone would know that footage is over right, <laughs> right, 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 wait i gotta wait until yeah, everything's wait. gone yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i gotta wait till i clean house first yeah. and then but, i get a haircut ah, <laughs> maybe not do you ask <laughs> do you ask andrew like hey why was it that in or do you just like no nah, I, I didn't even really ask him because I, I i get it like as soon as i thought about it like i was laying i swear i was laying in bed i was like oh you didn't use that oh you didn't use that i was like damn like i was really stoked on that i can't believe it wasn't in there and then i thought about it. i was like but wait like after I watched after I watched the part for the first time, mm-hmm. I was like so hyped on how it came out yeah. and how the whole video came out that I was just like, I mean, it doesn't matter. These kids don't really know I did that trick. It's not like it was a photo or anything in mm. an article for this video. Yeah, yeah. that's when it like matters. No one knows exactly. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, oh, like all right, now I kind of got a base for the next one, you know. Sure. And you kind of think about it in that s- aspect when you're like, all right, now for the next video, you're like, oh, if I get it put together and it looks good already, like. Screw it. Let me just get it out there. Mm-hmm. The main thing for me, as long as you got like a beginning and an end. Right. You know, that's kind of all that matters. But that's k- the way I go at parts is like try to get hammers done, like some hammers done first. So that way I have options. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you have a last part or last trick done already? Uh, For for any new part that you have coming out? Uh, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That must okay. feel really comforting. 
Yeah, I'm, s- I'm sitting on it for a while, too. <laughs> okay, so it's like, okay. Oh, I just got... I don't... We, 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 blah, blah, Just whisper and whisper. Yeah. Nobody's yeah, gonna just hear. tell the whole world what it is before it comes <laughs> no, out, right? which part? Oh, I mean, uh, it might uh, be... It might be Dickies or something. I don't know. But that's also... <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, you know, you get something done. You're like, man, that I want that to be the end. But who knows, like, when the video actually comes out, when if I get something else, I'm stoked on, you know? That's it, right? So it's, like, kind of, like, hard to know. You know, but at least you have something. I have something in mind, which is right. nice. You know, right, right, right. and it's something that I'm stoked on, and that definitely. But that's what I like to do when I'm going at parts. I kind of like try to get something heavy done first, in the aspect of like, all right, if I'm gonna film a New Balance part, I'm trying to go get a he- heavy clip first that will like, if I needed it to be my ender, I wouldn't be pissed at it. You right. know, and people would be like, still stoked. You know, because sure. I feel like sometimes it's like really hard to get towards the end of a part and just be like i need a hammer you know that's, that's when the pressure comes that's in. Yeah. but see that's the thing try, i feel like i try to avoid the pressure at the end by just like yeah you know knock this out first you know and then get all these lines and stair tricks that i'll just torture myself with you know like, <laughs> yeah. you're walking a fine line though because you're like all right well this could smoke me right now so maybe yeah, like, screw it you gotta try it anyways right yeah well, he doesn't. He doesn't hail Mary, dude. He go. He just does no, it. No, calculated risk for <laughs> sure. Calculated no. risk. Yeah, yeah. Two, but I mean, two hey. different skaters over here. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more. I feel like I'm. I can get smoked on a curb just as hard as I'm gonna get smoked on some big thing. Just That's because true. I'm not skating a curb as much as I'm skating like an average like. Kind that's of what I'm saying. Rail, you get, you, you know? can get humbled on anything. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. Is like I might as well just knock it out first, dude. That one fall. And then if you knock it, if you fall first, then you're like, all right. Well, we know I needed some extra time now. <laughs> you guys have both. <laughs> you guys have both had some gnarly. I mean, obviously big gnarly slams. You that one you you went from the you tried to fifty fifty. You just went to your face. Yeah, what, yeah West New Coast Mexico. Humbler. Yeah, yeah. That, West yeah. Coast humbler. That's what I call it. <laughs> yeah. That's a West Coast humbler. Yeah, that's my West Coast humbler. <laughs> The one, it's a, the rail, but it's a, you got, went it's like over. A, it's like a bank on the side, but yeah, yeah I just tried to fit the video. It flew what straight to my face. Is? I mean, it was a, a hall of meat, uh, oh, hall of but it was filmed while I was filming for a, a real, a real street. Mm, I was okay. filming for a real street and the VX part that I did, like the cross country. I did a cross country drive with my homies and filmed like a whole VX part almost pretty much on the drive. So right. that was like. It's funny. I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna grind it." And I, I, I didn't even want to. I didn't even care. I was like, "I'm gonna grind it." In my mind, I was like, "I'm gonna grind it five times and then try to front smith this thing." Oh, that's and, oh, on that rail. Yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted to front smith it. <laughs> like, you know, I really oh. wanted to front smith it. Like, that's why I told Kalen. Kalen's filming. He's like, "What do you want to do?" I was like, yep. "Oh, oh my yeah, God. that's the one." West oh, Coast Humbler. My God. Yeah. Or you West feel so Coast hard that like humbler. coins fell out if of your you pocket. If you guys listening yeah, on audio, saying Sonic can tell when we're the watching the clip. Right? Yeah, everyone was saying Sonic. Yeah, because oh, coins fell out. Coins yeah, flying smoke. out. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> That's what everyone was saying. Yeah. I never heard that. That's, what That's was amazing. Saying. Sonic <laughs> style. <laughs> got knocked coins loose. Oh, yeah. that was good. I kind of hate watching this clip. You actually God. smoke. Yeah. I mean, it's cool because. I'm not actually, I mean, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, but I'm not actually hurt. I didn't break anything. I didn't, I you're was able to skate a week ten, later. 10 days later. Yeah. yeah. You're skating like so fast. I was tripping. 10 days later, I was able to skate. I went and got all of my stuff x-rayed oh. and MRI'd and everything yeah. was good. But yeah, I wanted to front smith it and I was like, oh, I'm just going to grind it. And the bondos all, uh, the run up was all bondoed, like Fools every gold. crack, every Wait, single crack. what happened there? Someone what skated it. Uh, no, 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 no. What happened? Why? Just I didn't check the rail. It's so it's so it, rusted. It looked like it you did you just stuck. It's so yeah. sun dry rusted on, steel. Look at, look at it. It's look brown. You know, it's like brown rusted steel. Oh, and you, I, I wait didn't a really. I You're didn't not re- even like running your board up and down. I didn't or? try once. To really, do that. Yeah. I'm optimistic, homie, yeah. dude. I'm <laughs> telling you. But wait a minute. I saw just all the cracks were all the cracks are bondoed, and there's marks on the rail. But I find out later on that homie front lipped the rail. Didn't touch his trucks to it. I don't know. Someone front lipped it. Jeez. Local, I think. Oh. Local front lifted. You're almost doing Patrick shit. Like you're just full sending it. You're this is no, this is not a calculated was, risk. It was calculated because I ran up to the top and I go, every single crack is bondoed. And then look at the rail. Oh, there's marks on the rail. One plus one equals two. Someone skated the goddamn <laughs> rail. You know? Someone in my mind has skated this rail before, so I was like, Oh, it's a twenty. Normal inertia is gonna take you to the bottom regardless, and it did. Oh, Dude. But in on my worst chase, way possible. that should not move at all. It didn't. No, as soon as I grinded, as soon as I touched my truck, I just my ankle yeah. started rolling off my oh. nose, and that's all I felt before I blacked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I blacked out like 
right after this. Oh, you seriously? Like there, blacked out. Oh my God. Oh, so you I don't literally woke that. up on the ground. Yeah, I just woke up. Like, I just remember. Oh, oh my. Scorpion. Yeah, still blacked out. Ding, 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 Sonic. Yeah, Sonic after. Ate that? I mean, apparently, yeah. We got in the car. <laughs> went home, got in the car, went to Chick-fil-A, then 12-hour drive home. <laughs> he went to Wait, Chick-fil-A after so after this. So after this, does it change the ritual of you checking the rail now? Yeah, that's why I wax, like, any rail now, like, OD. <laughs> oh, you seriously do every, every rail. You I'll wax, wax it. almost every rail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? What yeah. if? Let me ask you a question. What if, now you're waxing your rail. What if somebody's skating something with you? That's the thing. It's like, hey, I'm about to wax the rail. You gotta let them know. That's it. I mean, like, that's it. And then like, I mean, if or you're skating this if, thing, you gotta wax it. Yeah, I'll skate it. I'll wax it. Or if someone else is skating it with me, <laughs> sometimes I'll like chill for a sec. If like, it's like, hey, do you don't thing. want me to wax it? Like, you do your thing first, and then right, I'm gonna right. come in and wax yeah. that thing up. Like, we're not rack- waxing our trucks as a little polite. Nah, like, you know what I, mean? I, I, I'll do that. Yeah. That's the thing. When you're skating big rails, like like a big rail like that usually doesn't require any wax. Just, you mm. know? Just, if it's been skated, it usually doesn't require any wax. I'll hit a little. Majority of the time. Yeah. Majority of the time, just 50-50s, like metal. On, if it's a board slide, feeble, smith, like, yes. But usually most of the time, metal on metal, unless it's mm. aluminum, like, just goes. But look at the rail. You can see how rusted it is. It is. It does. Yeah. And I just, it's a petrified rail. So I just <laughs> dude, that image is yeah. horrible. It's, dude. The freeze frame yeah. is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I just yeah. As You're soon literally as I got standing in, on your shoulders with your head on the ground. Yeah, oh. my hands like up in the air. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man. that was that. I just blacked out and then woke up with just facing the sun, laying on my back. Jeez. Oh, and, uh, and so nothing, nothing broke. No, nothing broken. Or yeah, anything? no, I went. Concussion, I literally. Nothing? I mean, probably a concussion. Okay. Probably. Right, right, right. Thankfully, I mean, I. I don't know. I I don't know who told me this, but I heard like if you're if you're like if you're hungry after you like smack your head, like if you have a concussion, you're not hungry or something. And I was like, after this happened, I was like, man, let's go Chick Fil A. I'm good. <laughs> so I'm then good. I went and got Chick Fil A, and I ate, and I was like, I ate the I'm whole good. I ate the whole meal. <laughs> like you know, I was like, I should be good. All right. And it was like a twelve hour James. drive home. Yeah, <laughs> process. I don't love it. It was like a 12 hour drive home and I had the homie thankfully that was with us uh, drive. I was like, yo dude, because I drove the whole mm. cross country drive. I was driving the whole time because I love, I love driving. I, I like I like being in like, control of the drive, especially as my car. But yeah, once that happened, I was like, hey dude, Oof. like you got to take over. And then yeah, it was kind of a, I just slept the whole way, which I know like people were probably like, hey, why did you, why'd you go to sleep? But I stayed up for like three hours. Okay, you made yeah. sure. Stayed yeah, up made, for like, yeah. I, you know, I ate Chick Fil A, you know, chilled <laughs> for like two, three hours of the drive, and then there was like eight or nine hours left, and it was nighttime. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah. Patrick, you slammed in your last, the latest part, yeah. and you destroyed your. Would you say it was again? Uh, it's called the humorous bone, but it's like my arm right here. Because you started off, like we we're talking earlier, like it's oh, this nice song comes on, and then well, it kickstarts the song. Yeah, oh, that's what it was. But yeah, yeah, yeah same, still, same. that was the I, kickstarter. The kickstarter yeah, of the song. Yeah, you're yeah. like, well, that's not the right song to play when you. Are fall? we talking about his pro part? Yeah, yeah. 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 He starts it off with a a that knowledge of no side was insane. Thank was, you, really good. Because I don't understand. Like you that, skate fast. Yeah, do. yeah, he does. He goes yeah. dumb fast. Hail Mary. <laughs> Everything's Hail Mary. not a Hail Mary. But. Hail Mary. So Hail go bef- go before this though. Yeah, it's the beginning. It's beginning. very beginning. Oh, very uh, first I, clip. I, I always think about this, and I I know it's not the right way to think about it, but I was like, dude, if you were fucking there. Like I would not have skated that real, or you would have been like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, no, you said that when you called me. Like, yeah. yo, man, I broke my arm. I wish you were oh, there. Wait, you so probably this... would have, because I definitely would have been like, "That's square." Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so that was the clip where you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you broke your arm on that clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke my arm on that clip. Oh, yeah, I would have been like, I would have been like, "Yo, why that. are you gonna hurricane this thin square but, handrail?" Oh, it's so square. I, I, Look at thin square. Before that try, I grinded down like four of them. I was about to do it. I was like, I just got to turn out, and I was like, I didn't. I was like. Not even that stoked. How many rails? Like, it was like a yeah, yeah. How many rails have you hurricane before? Dude, a lot and a lot. Exactly. So, than that. Dude, so that, I probably would have been up there like, and there's been a lot of rails out there. Yeah. Dude, the one, that's how, listen, you, that's weren't, how, you weren't there though. I know, I know. And I, know, I was I just like there, like, bro. Yeah, that's how I sit down and watch TV at night. I, I, I'm <laughs> sprawled out like that. Yeah, just chilling. But you did that yeah. the Heath one. That, the the long like it was like a trip oh, quadruple set. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Round circle. All, so, the, yeah, all yeah. the rails I've done are like bigger than this one, but also like I grinded this like at least four oh, times. Like, My man was over there in Boston, it. hungry. And then like if I would have done it, I don't think it, anyone would have thought twice about it. But then this one, just like the first one, I locked up was like. So what happened? Your wheel got caught underneath I, yeah, the rail. I straight, caught the straight to the support. Yeah, right. Oh, I didn't get one. in. I didn't get right. in. Caught the support. Right. And Ooh. then 
Oh, right yeah. there, wheel oh, yeah. in the rail. Oh yeah. my! Hits God. the support right. Watching yep. it in slow mo, like, it's also crazy. This is like something like when I first seen them put this in the part, like in the rough shaft, I was like, "Damn, you're really using that." Yeah, but uh, here's also, the thing: I was like, though, is that kind of sick though? But also like to me, it's like it draws my uh, attention in. Yeah, yeah it draws yeah. my attention in. I'm okay. like, oh my you're god! Like, oh I, wow! Yeah, let's watch this part now. Yeah, you know, which I think is important these days. I think a lot of people. I think they're just putting out parts just to put them out now. Yeah. I mean, they're not putting the, the proper care into them, I feel like, mm. a lot of the times, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's it's a like, certain way to do it, I feel yeah. like. I feel like, you know, you put, like, the second Ooh. best trick first in a video part and then the last trick. Yeah, you the best bang, you put a banger. Yeah. Start bang off with a banger. Head, yeah. yeah. And then you want to start off with a strong trick. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You want to end it off with, like, a strong trick. Yeah. 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 Oh, but like man. you bring him in with there this. It is. Yeah. Humor is gone. Um, and so <laughs> when when you say God humor damn, is gone, fuck. <laughs> was it a clean was it just a break yeah, or was it, it was a fracture? It was, no, it was like a clean break. Oh, wow. It like broke I mean, it like broke skin. Yeah, oh. compound. Yeah. Um, compound. Ooh. So I so I fell, smoked my I hit my back too and like okay. the thing about it is when you're skating big stuff, you're you hear people say like they black out. Sure. Mm-hmm. I didn't at all. I was like fully present. Like in my head I was about to land it. Wow. So I was like ready for like the turnout. I was ready for everything, and like caught, locked up, smacked my like back and my arm, whatever. You didn't hit your head. I smacked it a little bit. When okay, I was on okay. Facetime with like the fam and you, I was like, "There's some blood, kind of mm, whatever." Oh, oh, I mean, it was a little whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, I was present, and I remember like when everything happened, I was just like, I just tried to. St- I stood up, and I was just like, "Yep, my arm's broken. Like, let's go to the hospital." Oh. But I was like, I was like, I was like, where is it broken at? I was trying to figure it. out. I had a black long sleeve on, so I couldn't and. The adrenaline and you're like, dude. That's shot. when I was riding like, the sea dew. You thing. were the on the sea dew and he broke his arm. Literally, we. I left Boston early to go yeah. film that sea dew stuff. That's. <laughs> I was trying to remember where I was you're exactly. The, you, were, you were in Miami. Yeah, that? I was in Miami on the sea yeah. dew. Like, yo, Pat. And he's like, you oh, check his yeah, location. Arm, he's like dude. in the middle of the ocean on the sea dew. I, 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 he doesn't <laughs> check locations. <laughs> I only check locations. Maybe that's a downfall. Man. I seen <laughs> where he was. He was over there. Yeah. And but deep. I broke it and then we and then yeah. the homies helped me out and then we got in the car and made some phone calls. Did you go to Chick Fil A? Hell not. Okay. Yeah, but like, see, I didn't okay. actually get like I got hurt, but I didn't get hurt. Hurt. You needed surgery. Yeah, it was like I, aggressive. Yeah, like you needed it. Oh, so you have a, a bu- you have a pin in there right I now. I have like a plate and like plate uh, rod or something, a rod, right? whatever. Something. Yeah. How are you? How do you feel though now? Dude, it's is it been good. good? good? I'm already back, it's been a He's month bionic. and a half in. I'm okay. already like back on the board. Gotcha. But I'm like, it's taking. I'm taking it slow, but like the elbow is healthy. The arm feels good. It's kind of just like my shoulder right here. That's like. Just like not used to getting moving the around. Motion yeah, back, yeah. You know? but range of motion. Yeah. Well, also yeah. you're in a sling for exactly. how many that doesn't, weeks, that doesn't right? help yeah, either. Yeah. You know? Exactly. You're just but stuck there, so it's just range of motion. Got to yeah. get that going. Right. A lot of PT. A lot little, of like, was, what was crazy? For sure. What was crazy is his roommate like damn near broke yeah. the same arm or broke the same bone in his arm, but didn't break it as gnarly mm. technically because it was like a fracture, but like a it, clean it, break. It's the break. So my friend Grayson, he's yeah. my roommate. Yeah. Uh, he broke the same bone. Three days the same before. arm. Whoa. Three days after me. Oh, after. Yeah. No. Yes. And, and he was on a trip too, um, with Element, and he calls me, and I was I just got out of the hospital, and I'm in bed, and he calls me, and he's like on Facetime, and he's like, "Dude," and he's like showing me his arm, and I'm like, he's like, "Dude, I, I can't believe this." Like, and then I, I'm like, "Dude, you're all good." Like, and I, I pull my phone out and I show him my arm, and he's like, uh, he, he had no idea. Hey. He had yeah. no idea either. He had no. I so I, only like a few people knew right when I did it. Okay. Like, but our, did you get surgery right away yeah. or did you so wait? I I went in. Um, they wrapped me up, right got X-rays, away. and then the next morning I got surgery. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes I mean, it's scary to go right in there and just get surgery because yeah. you have a specialist. That bone is, is Dude, compounded, to, bro. Like, yeah, no, nah, I was gnarly. not. Yeah. To be honest, when when I did it. I like how it felt. I knew I had to get surgery. Oh, yeah. right away. Like, yeah, I knew. I was like, there's no way this is going to, like, it was aggressive. But he didn't get surgery. But he didn't get surgery. Yeah. So, like, right now, like, I'm already skating, cruising around, and okay. swimming and stuff, and he's still, like, in a sling. In a sling. Oh. And, like, which is crazy because um, technically his is, like, worse. Yeah, but he got hardware. But that's though. the thing. Yeah. He got hardware. So now he's bionic. But right? when, when you <laughs> get that, yeah. the like, recovery is, yeah. like, faster and you which can be crazy. more aggressive with the PT. Exactly. Yeah. And for like, sure. For sure. I mean, Tony Hawk, when he got his femur, I mean, he was standing uh, up the, sh- right after surgery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I, like, I hate it, but at the same time, like, with how I skate and, like, I I I'm, I kind of glad I have this, so I don't have to ever okay. ever think about it again. And then once the muscles come back in, we're all we're good. You're you good. Know? You're good, yeah. bro. Yeah. Am I tripping? Did you do a, that trick again in your part? No. Nah, or a trick I like? Did you, no. Not a hurricane. No. You didn't hurricane. You didn't hurricane. Didn't, that part I, I think for me had like the something. least amount of rails too. I swear. Mm. Like, which is an accomplishment. Damn near. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the hardest thing for me is I just <laughs> I watch that I watch all my footage and I'm like. 
damn, yeah. you change it up a little bit. Does that ruin that trick for you? Maybe just like the kind of rails. Yeah, screw that. That rail. thing I was do tiny. It on, but also Thin like square rail, terrible. I yeah. know that I've done <laughs> that trick on like a lot of rails in my life. I have never locked up once. Wow. Not one time. Not on a park rail. Not on a street rail. I have never locked up. Yeah, but you never have a thin square rail. I like know. That. Yeah. I know. That. <laughs> I know this. Now. It's not like a. It's not like a like a church rail. This is why I wanted him there. But even if there was no support, <laughs> did, did you system? really calculated yeah. risk? For sure, he's like the like you know what I mean. Calculated risk. Yeah. Not nah, Hail Mary. He even, got to the spot. I was like, I need a trick. So what he's gonna do? The trick that he loves the most, and then betray me. Yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn Damn. you did a hurricane in another. Uh, yeah, he's done I've a got, few of them. I yeah. mean, he does hurricane. Like okay, okay, okay. That's he, like he's a hurricane. I'm not that's like then. that's okay. like the bread and butter, damn near. Not well, anymore, probably. Well, so it doesn't. So it doesn't ruin the trick. Uh, I don't think it would. Just on the type of ruins that spot. That spots. Well, that spot. That, <laughs> no, dude. I thought about it. If I go back to that spot, I'm getting a clip. Maybe not on not on there. that rail. There's a perfect ledge in the bank you could have skated. There's like the three set, there's a ledge feet the bank. away there's from like, each other. Yeah, but just to like just to go back there and like like he went to a spot you know I mean? that's like everyone goes there. You know, it's like a ledge. Mm-hmm. You skate the ledge into a brick bank, and then there's like a little kick at the end. And okay. It's a unique spot. Skates the rail. You know, people skate the rail though, and the stair set and the Walton, who Julian. Yeah, there's, so there's, a rail, there's a rail there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other, the, he's got the, the cool rail because it's yeah, got the a little. Side, there's like a little. Yeah. Bit, there's like a bend in the rail. Okay. And he grinded it, which is so you insane. skated the regular boring side, the one. That it, yeah, smoke me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have been there. Yeah, I would have told you. Hey, you get a trick on this ledge. <laughs> is it like the Jaquan rail, like the small one, but yes, long? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's literally Jaquan rail extended, yeah. so it's like terrifying. Yeah, not my best judgment. Mm. Thin square is kind of scary. Dude, yeah. it's funny. Jaquan rail. Dude, Andrew went and skated it one day, and it was well. I didn't know it was Jaquan rail. Andrew comes up. He's like, dude, I skated this rail the other day. I think you'd like it. I was like, oh, really? What rail? Like thinking it was like a new rail or something. <laughs> I was like, really? What rail? He's like, oh yeah, like. It's like right in LA. Like, I think you'd really like it. So, and then I'm like, he's like, yeah, check it out. Actually, pulled up the clip. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jaquan rail? That thing's terrible, dude. Ah, oh, it's so good. I was like, new rail. You should check it out. Just a thin square rail. I was that like, was like one of the first handrail ever skated. Ah, uh, the know? dimensions yeah. are fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. The dimensions are good. I hate thin. I had I one hate square rails. Probably said that before. But I hate thin square rails even more. Like I don't like square rails, small circle rails. Thin circle is not even that good too. Anything thin, scary. Yeah. Just that wheel bite, like Ooh, that yeah. wheel bite gap. You How was your sketchy. your guys? Did you have fun talking to Andrew Reynolds? Because he is such a skate nerd. He's yeah, so I love, critical. I love talking everything. to him. Yeah, he's like a giant kid yeah. in the sense of like obviously anything skate because he's so down with anything and like he tweaks out about a lot of mm-hmm. stuff. You know, and that's the thing. I'm not really. I don't really tweak out. Like sometimes he's in a board crisis and all this right, stuff, and right. like I kind of am just more like, all right, I picked this shape. Yeah, I like it, and I'm just gonna like try to skate it for as but long as I can. But obviously, when you pick a board, you know everything about that board. You know the wheelbase. You know how long yeah, the like board somebody, is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <it's> a, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, it's called knowing your stuff, guy. <laughs> I know the numbers. I just forget it really fast. I don't have to. Hey, like, I would low key. I, I'm like jealous of you because you you're not worried about it. Yeah. Like blo- thirty two length, fourteen yeah. and a quarter wheelbase, seven inch nose scale. I know it's the longer one. That's all. I don't. But I like the longer one. Yeah, but <laughs> if I have it, like, what I got to worry about that for? You know what I mean? But that's when you start getting detail, like Jamie. I, I'm like Jamie. But it works for Jamie though, right? You know, it's like you. The main thing. Uh, the main reason I want to know it is so if I'm like anywhere and I break a board, I can go into a shop or anywhere that's around me and be like, this is like as close to my shape yeah, as I can okay. get. Okay. I'm gonna just look at that shit and then put. You're it gonna under look my, at it and, and then put you're it under gonna, my feet and you're gonna put it on your feet. And then you're gonna be like, this is good. And then you're gonna walk out and you're gonna be like, damn, this thing feels crazy once you step your foot on it because it's like a quarter of an inch longer that you didn't know about or something. Or, or the oh wheelbase is like an eighth of an inch shorter. But maybe or Patrick is the type of dude who could just get on any board. Hail Mary. <laughs> Hail Harry Mary, but they'll just be like, this board feels weird, dude. Hey, this board, hey, I don't a know. A contest in China like a few years ago, I had to skate oh, his board because I ran out of boards to skate. I like broke all of mine and I skated his board and it's like really short. So I was like trying to nollie onto a rail or something, and I was just like nollie, nollie north, like foot come off, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a big difference when five seven six one or something, whatever. It's a big difference there. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Big yeah, difference. Yeah. Are you on, you're on the twin tail or no? Yeah, still twin tail. Twin tail okay. Yeah, still a twin tail. It's like yeah, as I know all my stuff. Fourteen, <laughs> or fourteen and a quarter wheelbase, thirty two long, uh, and each I think the tails are set or like since the twin tails seven inches each. Yeah. So. Why Eight and a half width, that, obviously. Patrick's looking at him like, what? Yeah. The hell well, are you I designed about? it, so I should know. I designed it all. 
It's all good. You it's just went fle- pro, dude. You'll get there, dude. <laughs> it's all a flex. <laughs> it's all good. You'll, you'll get your own shape, dog. It, I have it. There you go. That's well, the one. Yeah, cool. if someone gave it to you, you're like, this works. Work on your own, dude. It Let's works. talk. Can we talk about Hollywood High really quick? Because both of you have skated Hollywood High. Yeah. Um, What's good? I, listen, the run up for me. I'm not a rail skater by any means, but just the run up for me, I would drive me. That's crazy. the hardest part for me too. Yeah, especially fakey. Oh god! Oh, now skating it's worse, at regulars. Now like, it's worse because they've layered the top with like a that grounds. Oh, I swear the like ground roof ground. Type I swear of the stuff? ground has always been like that. No, it's it just I swear it has. It just like they redid it. Dude, you there's, know? there's footage of the ground up top, like like footage from like an up top up top angle, and yeah. it's like concrete. No, but they redid the it. Like, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, I feel like it got they, like they just painted redone. it. They just painted it with this like. But that's the thing when it's, it's cold, not like a roof material. But it's when like it's cold a, outside, it's fine. Yeah, but and when Does it, it gets hot, bumps in it. No, when it gets nah. hot, it gets like it's just soft. soft. Like it's like a brand new asphalt road. You know, damn near like mm. a brand new asphalt road. It's asphalt and it's gonna get it's gonna get hard. Like you know, it's gonna fully cure over. A, usually takes like a year or like a really good winter or mm-hmm. something. You know, mm-hmm. but L A. It's like you know, it gets really hot. So. During the hundred and something degree weather, it gets soft. Just like, just like today, I was skating this spot in the can't like uh, their Skull Canyon or whatever. Oh God, it must have been a hundred out there. It's so hot, mm. and the run up for this like little, I was just starting off like a little three stair. The run up is asphalt, and that asphalt's probably been there forever, but still dumb soft. Mm-hmm. Like I threw down, and I was like, you know, get jolted forward because mm-hmm. the asphalt's really soft. So that's kind of how that ground that, was. That ground like that when you skated Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. The first time I went was like. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to Hollywood and skate it, you know? I was like, I like skating around, like, the afternoon. So I went there at, like, 3 o'clock, and I threw down. I just, like, almost fell off oh, my board. Geez. And it was, like, pretty hot outside. It was, like, like eight, like high 80s, 90s or whatever, and the grunge just, you know, the sun, you know, just cooking the ground because mm-hmm. here there's it. no clouds. So it's just, the like, it's not that, that even that hot outside, but the, the ground is cooking. Was the Fakie five o the last one trick you did on there? Yeah, that, that was, was like, one. yeah, I think that was the only trick I really done on it. I like skated it. Okay. Regular tricks, like, but my like me doing a trick was fakey five o. Do you want to go back and do something else on there? Nah, or no, nah. you're, you're good. You're good. I'm good. I'm what good. about you, Patrick? I'm you good. good. Really? I went good. back there recently, actually, and I looked at it, and I was like, I'm good. Got my piece. But dude, from I mean, <laughs> leave from it for pop the rest. 50, bro, that's leave a crazy it for the rest. trick, dude. Yeah. Yeah, if somehow that's, that's your cool. trick too. Yeah, I've he seen loves that trick. That one randomly works. Does it down? It's that that trick. Was that in three seasons? Set. Yeah, three seasons. Three seasons? That okay. trick is like Hail Mary. You're, that's a coin flip. You're like, it might get in, it that's might not. That's literally his yeah. whole skating. He loves well, you, it. you did that on the rail down south San Diego too, which seems just as scary, the long the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Yeah, mm. merely, yeah. That, that trick works better for those dimension rails. Like a long, like low or long. longer, so you can play with it. Okay. Hollywood felt like I was just like jumping the set every time. Oh, okay. That, you're going yeah. fast at it. And, and you kind of have to. Yeah. With, with the way I do that trick, the speed yeah, is what gets me up almost. to the rail. Oh, I see. Like, oh, no, that's last trick. It's the last... Wait, it was a, wasn't it your last trick? Uh, Yeah, it was my three seasons of my last trick. Oh, was it your last trick? Nolly okay. Overcook was... A, Nolly back over Kirk was second to last? Yeah. Uh, oh, the yeah, Cyclops yeah. rail, dude. What the... F- yep. <laughs> but wait, let's look too. at this thing, man. There, first of all, that run up, oh, it would drive me crazy. Yeah. Even to skate a ledge like that. Well, it's not worse. bad. Like yeah. regular skating, like regular throwdown, it's like you Ooh. get enough throwdown and enough speed to do it, but you definitely would like more. I mean, I, lo- I love all the run up <laughs> you can give me. Give it, when give I, me it all. When I first started skating it that day, it wasn't that bad. And then like it took a long time to do it. Yeah. And you could see it was getting throat, worse like, and worse. Sweating. It's yeah. so yeah. hot, you know? Mm. Yeah. So you were getting smoked. Yeah. Also, that try, the last three tries I tried that trick, I tried it with my board backwards. And yeah. I've never done that before. Why, Why did you try that? Um, dude, I was, was getting doing, soggy. Yeah, I was up there doing front shoves. So the the past few tries before the last three, I wasn't even making it on the rail. And I was getting smoked. Like try to front shove, put it in, the board wouldn't make it up, and I'll just jump to flat, like oh, on my like yeah. whatever. And I was like up there doing front shoves and like turn my board around and it and, and the shove was coming up to my feet and I was like, Alright, I'm eating shit already. Might as well like try something different. And I just went a little faster and just shoved and just like Dude, hoped I got in. I didn't even think about this, but yes, if I'm skating on flat ground, a game of skate, I will do a front shove off my nose for sure. Do you? Yeah. Really? 100%. Interesting. It just feels better. More stiff. Yeah. It just feels like, better to pop. Responsive. Off of, I don't know. Something yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Was there, wasn't there, uh, I'm sorry, like, no, wasn't there uh, like a, a, was it, not a uh, raw clips of you trying this? 
Like the whole on the uh, gram. There, there, there's like the a oh, there's like a little like thunder like uh behind the scenes like, uh, like, yeah, yeah. like attempt of me trying it. Okay, Hail yeah, Mary. okay. <laughs> there was like a bunch there's of like, it showed yeah. you like, there's like a whole process. Let's pull to that it. up. Let's pull you that felt up. it. Yeah. You felt it getting worse. Yeah, for during sure. the tries, it and was you like, stayed trying dude, it. The first few tries, I went there to do, like the, when I was trying it, I got in and I, I'd get over it. Yeah, uh, I had Tim and Bailey up there like coaching me through it the whole time, and uh yeah, more hail mary, calculator risk. I went there the first time to Faggy Five O it, and I threw down, and I felt it like, cause I was just rolling up, like to see what, even rolling up. Oh, ooh, yeah, it's hectic. sorry, we're watching. That's, nah, how, that's how that was his I was. first try a, back fifty. No, is, I, I did one, and it was, or maybe that was. The you first told try. me that was your first try. Yeah, that was try. the first try. Yeah, yeah. you told me what that was it, your first. What's up with all your parts being started off with a bail? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I didn't choose to be this way. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> hail mary, <laughs> hail mary, dude. Yeah, hail I, mary. I went there to throw down to roll up to it the day I Faggy Five O'd it, and I felt the slowness uh, of the ground and i was like i can't do that with this i can't do my trick with this ground this is insane like but then no you, way it's working how'd you fight it i went and skated it at 7 a.m when it was it way was cooler outside. Oh. yeah so yeah we got there like i figgy 5 would it at 7 30 in the morning i think nine Damn. Yeah. nine nine thirty yeah how are you bailing out of this trick dude yeah, like it's you, hail, you're look, trying to Mary. get some weight on the rail you know you're waiting for the board to come around but it's it's you're catching with the front foot and you put it down and then you put the back foot in and it's yeah. like it's, it's like a front shove crook. Mm. Yeah, that's what it it's looks like, like. Front foot, back foot. Yeah, and you got to just like I don't know the ones it's where you're like the board doesn't come up and you get on the rail and then that's when it's scary when you put your weight in and your board's just not there. Right. Yeah. What like, time like was that? this at? Yeah, that's terrible. What time was this at? Like nine thirty, ten. It's mostly, oh, so this was morning too. And then and then and then I landed it at like so eleven thirty. Too long. Oh, though. Like damn near like mm. twelve. Damn. Like we were, I was skating that thing for like a while. But you were yeah. taking a lot of breaks in between. Yeah, there's times where like it doesn't show in this, but I would get smoke, go into the little little corner, and just like and just sit down yeah. and like <laughs> contemplate my whole life. <laughs> 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 well, Yuto when he did his trick and all he two seventy lip, it was light. It was, but like he was like it was really early in the morning. Yeah, too. It was like yeah. seven a.m. too. Like yeah, seven. that's what I heard. That I think that like also. Or no, I think I did it before. Yeah, I did, I, I figured if I would it prior to that, but. I just remember someone telling me like, yo, you should go earlier because I was like, oh, yeah, it's like California because in Florida, it's like the ground would always probably be like that because even at, and if it's in the summertime because the ground, it's still 85 mm, at yeah, night in Florida, right. you know, yeah. but here in California, it's like, oh, it drops 30 degrees at night. Yeah. So the first five hours of the day, like it was only it just, 65, 70 degrees. So the ground was hard. Like when I figured five out at like seven in the morning, it felt like normal concrete wow okay it wasn't baking in the sun all day exactly yeah for sure also who calculated the risk wants to like jump down a 16 stair at like 7 in the morning yeah, no. <laughs> I rather, calculated risk i rather yeah. i rather jump down a 16 at 7 a.m for 30 minutes than jump down it for two hours in this heat of the sun I, damn oh he's God. calling you out right now i think this is nothing new <laughs> it's calculated uh, risk Dude, I, I when you did this, uh, congratulations on this trick. This is a very <laughs> good you. trick to have under your belt. You know That's what I mean? So insane. I've yeah. wanted to skate this rail for so long. Me and Bailey have always talked about like shooting a trick yeah. on this thing. I mean, I as, out, as a rail skater, that's just like I mean, I had the same thing. Yeah. Like with Figgy, and it, it's funny because Figgy Five O is like one of my is like I would kind of say is one of my tricks. You know, I do it a lot. Yeah, and, and it I hasn't love been doing done it on that rail. And like, it hasn't been done on that rail. You're like, I need to take that. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Something. someone's gonna get there. If exactly. I'm not, if I don't get there, so I want to take it. So like, just like your front shove fifty, what yeah. a trick you you go for all the time. Like you do on a lot of stuff. You're like, this is the one. Yeah. There's a clip in my follow where almost... we, we go to this rail and we're like looking at it and we're talking about the front shove grind. Okay. And to, to see to come like fruition like and I love that full circle like yeah yeah. Dude, it almost looks like your front wheel is riding down. The it's rail. hectic, yeah, it's crazy. You, you got to just take whatever you. No, no, no I'm ahead, not saying. Know? I'm not taking it. But look, look at this. Hold on. He's just saying the precision. Look at this. It's like look at perfectly that. It looks locked. like it's almost riding. It's on like perfectly fucking, locked yeah, it into it. Perfectly. Yeah. God damn. Is that a, that? Listen, amazing. But that fence there sucks, right? When you ride it, you, yeah. you so, try it for so long, and then you ride into a fence. I knew, like th with. How I do that trick and you go on over. long rails? Yeah, I go to the left. Yes, I never knew you were gonna go. Yeah, I it. knew I was gonna go there. Right, like so. I remember like talking to Tim about it when I was doing it, and I stuck the the first two, and I kind of rode to the left. He was like, "Hey, land it, power slide." Okay, like you know. So when I landed it, the first immediate thought was like just a slide into the fence, mm. and like I mean, of course you want the glory ride. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, dude, like certain tricks to, take to you to power the power slide in and just like be still on the board and like. 
Andre's being in that corner yeah, yeah, and yeah. like, yeah, take, like dapping him yeah. up. Like in, yeah. Yeah. he took control in like into the fence, and that's yeah. what made it. Right? It wasn't like I hit the fence and like fell off my board or whatever. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, there's been so many iconic spots. I mean, like Carlsbad, right? You you go you skate and then they go in the grass. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of spots like that. And people have skated that spot before and gone to the fence and like I've never really blinked an eye. But I I'm not it. saying and it's a bad thing. I'm yeah, just saying like people yeah. are like I want this. You know. But it's the glory like, ride yeah. that you just talked about. It's that ride. You know. Yeah. Off to the sunset. Mirland. I went I wanted the mm. fucking full hallway right away mm. went straight and I went wall. into the wall yeah. I thought I was like in the part I'm like are we taking it? Uh, yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. but I can see how that I mean if you try to change that that like like of missing that gate right there mm -hmm. that changes the whole f like fundamental of the that trick well, it's, yeah. almost it's going like, to mess him up mentally too yeah. Yeah. Like, think way, about how to like yeah. oh I gotta to curve go off over. to the right yeah. the way I'm going at that rail to get on my weight's already going like Over towards the fence. To the left. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. So like the second I come off it and it's dude, I'm like I was like running at that thing. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. when I come he down goes really it, fast. I'm <laughs> coming out even faster, you know? There's no time to like swerve and like Yeah, there's not. I, I mean, like, it's, landed, it comes up quick. It definitely comes up quick. Yeah. Jamie, how long did it take you to do the Takey Five O? Mm, I think it took me like probably like six tries or something yeah six seven tries what or something like that you, <laughs> <laughs> would you fake did you fakey grind it please tell me you did that i did not uh, which is funny because that's that. something i usually do like on a, any other any normal rail i would fakey back lip it or fakey 50 50 at first uh -huh. like for sure because like, i always think fakey grind down big rails yeah is like the scariest thing. i love fakey grinds though like <laughs> to me it's just like i'm just doing a front 50 backwards like, yeah, i'm just trying yeah. to like think about it very calmly because uh, we were talking about it earlier how you want it you do you keep warming up to that trick you do yeah. 50 50 i mean this is all in one day yeah and okay. yeah it was like straight up like uh definitely i was like man am i gonna fakey grind it first because i usually do but then i was just like you know what like as soon as I pop fakey, I rather just I can miss a fakey five zero and make this the bottom better than I could miss a fakey fifty. Oh, okay, mm. you, you know what I'm saying. So that's yeah. what I really thought about. I was like, hey, like I know I can fakey. I really in my mind, I was like, I know I can fakey fifty this rail. But if I do mess up a fakey fifty and get hurt on that, I'm gonna be pissed. I would rather just it. try the fakey five zero, you know, which is rare for me because I usually warm up. But at least I was doing like all my regular tricks. Yeah. What is this with all the font? <laughs> <laughs> hey, seeing you spook like this though is pretty rare. I was terrified. Ooh, but first see, try though, right? That, yeah, yeah. I, like heel bruise immediately, yeah. oh, like good. straight to the bottom. But I was like, I made it. I cleared the stair set. Missed my pop completely on the first try. Oh, dude. That was second try, and I was like, all right, rip my hand. <laughs> Ate that. Ripped the ripped the sand off or the the extra skin off. Right. And then yeah, I was just like, all right, now I, I know I can do it because I'm just I'm I really like <laughs> rolling up. <laughs> I really like rolling up and wiggling my feet. So for this, so f the run up is so quick that I couldn't do it. Oh, you like wi oh to get them in place? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah, I roll yeah. up and I like wiggle my feet <laughs> to like try my tricks. You know, I really lock in there. And uh, like this takes, you know, the short run up kind of fucks me up. So mm. that's why rolling up, I was like terrified because I was like, I don't, I'm not ready. Like you yeah. know, getting to that stairs out wasn't ready. But then once I like got in one, I was like, all right, we're. We're gonna do this, but it's funny too, man. You, I mean, before this, you just did a whole bunch of. I mean, you put a yeah. clinic. You put a clinic <laughs> yeah, on this. Yeah, but rail. see, that's what I'm saying. Like that just makes me like, all right, I know the, I know like the right speed for this rail, and I know the landing. Like how the it front feels, crook for the warm up like, was not necessary. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm, I'm, very I'm, unnecessary. I'm guessing yeah. all this. I'm guessing all this is first try. <laughs> yeah, most. Yeah, most of it. Yeah, I think, it pretty much. Yeah, I think it was. You all actually popped out of that too, which is. Nice. But it's like, hey. If I can't front crook this thing, how the fuck am I gonna fake you five zero? You know, true, that's all I'm thinking. True. It's like if I can't feeble it, backsmith it, but you back, never, whatever I do, like if I can't do that, how am I gonna fake you five zero this thing? I right. guess the only yeah, I guess the only thing you didn't do was go fakey at it. Exactly. That's yeah. the, that was like honestly, I was like rolling. I was like, man, I really want to fakey back lip this thing, or I want to fakey fifty this thing, because that's yeah. like usually my warm up fakey trick for a rail that I'm gonna make it to the bottom easier. You know? Yeah. Because this thing is like. I didn't know if I was going to make it to the bottom even. You know, I was like, man, am I going to be able to gap the whole thing if I fully mess up? Oh, and I see what you're saying. Like, thankfully, this first try, I tried, fully missed my pop. Yeah, didn't pop, pop didn't get on bit. the... No, I, I swear, if there's whiff. audio, you don't... I swear there's no pop. It's a whiff. <laughs> yeah, you can see my, my back foot come off the board. Dude, how about... Uh, like, Dude, my back foot came off the board, you oh. see? And it's like a weird, laggy whiff oh. pop. And then barely made it to the bottom. So that's why I was like, and I could bail forward with a fakey 5 I got to open my shoulders rather than fakey back uh, lip. I'm all closed, fakey 50-50. I'm kind of straight. 
calculated risk. <laughs> jump to the bottom with my shoulders open, you know, like fakey grinds, like kind of like full commit. Exactly, this is for sure. You know? Dude, it just just because you can't make it to the bottom, no problem. You ever tried fakey back grind down rails? Oh, I can. I've no. done them on little rails. That but just like, sounds like the scariest. It's terrifying. Thing. Yeah. I know some people that like. It. I think like, Ish likes to do that trick. Ish has wild tricks. See, See, I've seen. I've seen him fakey flip switch back fifty uh, Baker Boys rail. I wow. swear. Oh, dude, Zion's half cat back swing. Dude, that's oh, the gnar- oh, we just. Yeah. I just watched dude. that the other day. I watched. His, I was watching his raw files of that part, and dude, like, that's the gnarliest trick in my mind that will ever go it down really on that is. rail. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky, really and it's a throw. Kickflip that nose grinds and... insane. Mm. Kickflip fifties insane. Like front shove fifties insane. <laughs> I was saying like, there's so many insane tricks, but half cat backsmithing it is like with that run up. Yeah, is like. Like all the other tricks is you're throwing on regular and like it's whatever, but like half cab backsmith is insane. Even the half cab crook is like pretty. Yeah, half cab crooks fuck. I mean, you could bail it, you know, but like yeah. bro, if you watch the raw files of of Zion's half cab backsmith, the first in the first couple tries were like, I would have been like, nope, I'm done. Yeah, like, you know, I kind of would have been like, today's not the day, but he just powers through it all, yeah. gets it all done, and I remember be, I was there that day. I was just like, I remember him telling me he wanted to do it, and I was just like, man, like that's gnarly, dude, like. Wonder if he's gonna get himself to be a. I, I believe he could do it, just like me or you with a lot of clips. Is like we can do whatever we want to do, but what can we get to try? You know, like yeah. you got to get yourself to really try it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that's the hardest part. He's so like yeah. Watch not it. scared though. I know he's one of. The, oh. Once he did that, I was like, oh, he can do anything he wants. You know, like he just popped and ran out. Oh. Yeah. You gotta go back to the first try though. The that's first bad. try, he almost sacks it. Trying to half cap board slide it. Is this it right here? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, that yeah. That's half cap crook. Is this half cap crook? Yeah. Half cap. I don't know. I think it's backsmith. Yeah, half cap backsmith. He's wearing like cargos. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, that's Uh, crook. Okay, so he did the half cap crook. Spanked that, no problem. Still wanted more. Fulton. Tim Fulton. Come on, man. Hey, thanks for the time. Hey, Tim, (laughs) thanks for the pizza today, man. Yeah, thanks for the pizza, Tim. (laughs) But yeah, I remember him saying like, "Yo, I want a half cat backsmith." And I was like, "I know he can half cat back." Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Like that thing is cargo. perfect. You gotta just. Like, it's really good. You just gotta get to yourself to go for it. Cause yeah. like, yes, you can get handled, but yes, it's a really good rail, yes, you and you can it. do your trick. So it's all about like, dude. Oh, oh half cat boardy. God. That was his first try to pop fakie, and I didn't want to do that. Like, oh, he like <laughs> bailed it onto the rail. <laughs> dude, that was insane, dude. It's insane. Insane. Why do you Zion's do that? insane. I don't know. He did that. Look, got up. You gotta <laughs> hit the rail on the way up. Yeah, he, he like hit it. the rail, bailed Look, it, landed. Oh, oh. oh my god. And then bailed, and then he gets up, he's like, Oh my god, I'm not gonna do that again. I was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. He said, Oh my god. I was like, bro. And then that was his second right. try. Once I saw that, I was like, Oh, he's good. Right. And then every try got a little sketchy. That was sketchy. Oof. He's just, a beast. Man. I know. He's just Hell like yeah. he's built to take it. Seriously. Like in the sense of like he's oh built to fall. God. And then once he did that, I was like, oh, it's game over. Like, he even felt it. Yeah, right, yeah, right yeah. there. Once he grinded it, he was like, oh. When you run, when you run back like, up, he almost like, he yeah. tried to jump up half the set. That was his jokes. That was his energy, man. Dude, yeah. And then he just, dude. Ooh. Wow. Sheesh. Bro, as good as it can be done. Do you think that's the gnarliest thing that's I been done? I think that's the gnarliest thing that has been done on it. And I I I dare someone to try something gnarlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gnarly. Yeah. Like, hey, he told me a while ago that he has another trick. I know, for I know. Ooh. And that's the thing, it's like, it's already sealed, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go back there, damn, dude. Like, there's yeah. a lot of tricks that think, get forgotten about that. On that, that dude, thing. there's so for many sure. tricks. Yeah. yeah. I, I think he's been true. smoked for a long time. Yeah. I, uh, I, so I brought up a couple episodes to get uh, Jaden Bono. Yep. When he switched crew. I was yep. there yep. that day and yep. he did that second yeah, try. Yeah, chilling. That's his that was trick, his though. trick. He's yeah. so good at That's that his one. trick. Yeah. Dude, Jake Alardi, big flip front board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. I was there the day, yeah. the first, well not the second. first because he went there a bunch but I went there, I was there the day, the first day he really committed to trying the trick, sacked it, tore his, so tore his sack open, dude. Oh. It was buck but that day, he big spin front board faked it 23 times in a row. <laughs> no, he did I swear to God. Why? Swear Why? on everything. He Why? big spin front board figured it, it. twenty three times in a row. He might have missed one. It was insane. Is I was just, just like me? after like eighteen, like yeah. twenty, like it's coming up on twenty. I was like, "Yo, Jake, like you're kind of <laughs> just like 
wasting energy, I think, at this point. <laughs> Yo, like, just add a little flip in there. I was like, because, I mean, obviously, he's so scared to do that, right. and I get it, and he was terrified to try. Like, he's been there a few times prior to this mm. try, but that time, and I, I was homie said he'd big spin front board every time he went there, like, multiple times. But that day I was there, pretty sure it was 20 to 23 in a row God. that he big spin front board figgy that rail, and then he finally committed to try it, slid one, and then... I think he slid one like damn near first try and then missed it and Oof. got smoked, but then went back and did it like after everything. Going yeah. back after that and doing yeah, it. Yeah, going back dude, after that and doing it him, is like, like yeah, that's good. He went back and claimed his, you know? Yeah. That's the thing. Some that's one of those it's one of those like iconic LA spots where it's just like it is perfect, but it's deep. it's gnarly. It's deep. Yeah. It's perfect but gnarly. <laughs> and you just gotta go get yours. Ooh. God oh, fuck. damn. Dude, that's <laughs> fucked yes. up, dude. That is so fucked. Flipping your board into that right? thing is insane. Perfect, that's a lot of trust. Dude, so much trust. We've dude, talked he to... big spin front board at 23 times in a row. So... No joke. Something I never thought I would see in my life. Do you literally do you when you guys see uh when you guys skate there or watch people skate it, I always trip out how people skate the twelve and then run to the sixteen. Ah, waste it, energy. It's it's really two completely two different rails. Two different rails. Yeah. The twelve yeah. sucks. The twelve yeah, is like, tall and steep and the sixteen is low and mellow. Yeah. It's fully yeah, it's, it's still pretty steep, it's but different. Like, well, compared, the twelve is steeper. Yeah, way steeper. You know, like, yeah. it's like this. You know, it's like twelve stair, yeah. sixteen. In the I never understood like, that really. Well, because the whole thing is tricks, on maybe. Well, so let's say you're you're going there. You guys ever warm up on the twelve? No, no. Yeah. Well, you, you I probably grinded it. Yeah, yeah. I probably grinded it or something. I've been there before and I tried that method. I, I fakey five would the twelve like. Not it. Yeah, but grinding oh, wow. around for you is like walking down the stairs. Like, you're gonna do it every time. <laughs> I fakey five would the twelve probably like. Seven or eight years ago. Oh, uh, okay. Prior. Oh, yeah. okay. I figgy five out of the twelve when I was like flow for whatever I was flow for at the time. <laughs> that's and pretty that's pretty insane. I actually. figgy five out it and I was like, that's when I was like, man, one day like if I get to that point, yeah. I need to do this on the sixteen if it doesn't get done. Cause I like I was with my homies filming for some like local like just local video and I did figgy five oh and I did figgy five oh half cab. On that thing? Oh, on the wow. Let's play YouTube That's steep Let's on play that YouTube. one. Yeah, Figgy 5 and Figgy 5 half cab yeah. on the 12. Dude, Utah's and then, too, man. Yeah, like, that's insane with the Montclair with mask the, on. The I know, right? Come what the on. Hell's wrong with this guy? He was so trying crazy. it before without it on. Yeah, and, and then, then he put it on our yeah. head. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I don't know if I should do it. There, And Kev was just like, dude, fuck it. Do whatever you want to do. And I feel that like, was hard, though. Like, that shit made it so hard. Yeah. I feel like he's got more tricks for this rail, dude. Dude, he could do anything he wants on that. Yeah. He, he really can. He could switch when he crooked that rail right now. Right. Literally. Like, so easy. Hey, I want to ask you a question. Fun, this is dude. a technical way of, of, of terms in skateboarding. You know how he does the trick Nolly 270 to no slide? Like, yeah, yeah Nolly cab nose. Like, what do you... So he does Nolly cab switch back tail, but technically that would be front nose if you're saying it. I say Nolly 360 front nose, I would say. That, you would say that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because a lot... Of, but back then, we talked the Geno trick. And we'd call it Nolly cab switch back tail. I, I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're like standing on it differently almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, tomato, tomato. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was just like talking skate terms like that. Yeah, potato, yeah. Potato, potato. Yeah. Potato, to potato, all of it, dude. Yeah. Any of them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, it's hard. I mean, well, skating is just like, you kind of say it just to make it easier, you know? Yeah, Because yeah, most yeah. things, like, I used to say, like, instead of Figgy 5 I used to say Figgy Switch Nose Grind. Well, I was uh, just about to say that, And then there's right? people. Figgy Nose Grind. Yeah, like, I think that's one of the most, like, that that fakey five zero, I think Deathwish posted it, and it's one of the most commented posts on their thing, just because the people are arguing over what it is. Fakey uh, switch nose grind. That's a fakey switch nose grind. No, that's a fakey salad. That was yeah. a fakey yeah. crook. <laughs> it's like fakey five. Yeah, I I say it's a fakey five zero, but that's Ooh. just because it kind of goes back to when I was first came to California and I was filming and taking photos with certain people. I think one of like one of the main guys was Rodent at the time that I was with, and he was. Uh, kind of a stickler where it came when it came to naming tricks and i didn't know or care about it all, and at all you know i was just like fakey switch nose drawing because if i say that you can like imagine exactly what i'm saying you know yeah. and then he, i think he's like oh it's fakey 5-0 i was like what mm -hmm. he's like dude don't say it fakey you can't go fakey switch and i was just like oh, <laughs> I, I don't i don't know like oh, whatever yeah. yeah to me a fakey it's it's more of like but then what he I'm, said I'm thinking it, of on, on like a ledge right yeah. you're balanced yeah you're you're you're, you're square you're not yeah. Pinched. Exactly, you but that's the I mean? thing. It's like on a circle rail, it just happens. But I'm not going to argue with you because yeah. we argued for damn near 20 minutes in your first episode about pinches, uh, pinching a manual. Oh, yeah. You, you, 
You were right. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> well, everyone has their own techniques at it. For sure. You know it is. Sure, yeah. for sure. And it was just like an easier way for me to understand it. Like if I say like a fakie switch front board, that was another one. Uh, he was like, oh, fakie back lip. Yep. I was like, is it? I don't, and I guess it is really. Yeah. But like if I say fakie back lip, you're kind of taking a second to think about what I'm saying. Yeah. If I say fakie ollie to switch, for, like fakie to switch front board, everyone's like, okay. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah. No, you right. understand it. You understand it right away. You what know, about you know the motion? Like I always trip out when people we, we call it back over crook. We all know that one. Yeah. But when you do a nose grind, from like you you, you like ollieing over to nose grind on a, on a round rail, let's say you're, you're nose grinding it. Oh, front side. Yeah, front side yeah, nose yeah. grind. Front side nose grind. Are like, front side over crook. Yeah, front side yeah. over crook. But no one, you don't say that. They nah. exist. I swear. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. You're not saying that. Nah. Nah. nah, nah. <laughs> nah. My homies used to give me shit all the time because I would say that. Yeah. yeah. Front side. Over crook. Front side over crook. Yeah. It's like, can you front side nose grind then? Yeah. It's different. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But can you backside nose grind a rail? No, but it it, 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 it changes. It changes. I mean, Square anyone, rail. anyone can do anything. Yeah. But it changes. You know, it's just like, if you're to like, it's like when you talk about a ledge, you know, you like, not back over like you, know, you can nose grind a ledge but you can't back over crook a ledge you can like back over crook a rail can't backside nose grind a rail that's kind of yeah like, you, can, you can back nose grind a rail, but very very like, if very you say, like difficult. a square rail you could back nose yeah grind. yeah yeah but it's like you gonna call it a backside nose grind or you're gonna say it's like a back over crook i mean on a square rail i would call it a back nose grind like if you're perfectly <laughs> level and not and not crooked like, you have to like, be like, like balanced there's stipulations to yeah. it for sure can yeah, but it's just like what happens. Like, yeah, uh, Cole Wilson, back in the day, like not back in the day, it wasn't that long. It was I don't know five six years ago. He did straight nose grind on, on cherry rail, the circle rail, straight nose grind on that circle is rail. Nuts. What's that clip of homie balancing that front nose grind on a handrail square? You know what I'm talking about. Mark Wilson. Yeah. No, uh, 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 Cole Cannon. Yeah, Cole Ooh, Cannon. Front, yeah. He would do front nose grind on it. Arg would, argument done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just said nose grind. Though. We need a gavel here. You said front side nose grind though. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. But then, like, the overcrook is, like, when you're... Like, pinched on the... Nah, like... the front side nose grind. That's all I heard you say. <laughs> you said, argument done, front side nose grind. Sick. So, what do you... What do you... Front side nose grind. Back overcrook. Can you crook a rail? Backside? Yeah. <laughs> backside crooked grind. Can you... Yeah. Yeah, I can back crook so a rail. So, why isn't can you? there an over... And there's a, there's a front crook and a back crook? Why isn't there... That's what... That's not my argument. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but if it's, you go to do a note, let me see you... Can you straight nose grind on a handrail? So, I can't... <laughs> So you can't nose grind. No, not really that good. But when I do it, it looks like the wrong way. That's why I just do a backside. So back over crook and front side nose grind. You're right. You get nowhere with them. <laughs> You're totally right, Patrick. Back over crook, front side nose grind. I didn't know what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Let's think of more tricks. This is great. Yeah, yeah, I love awesome. this. This is I love, love this. Because these I are mean, arguments like, every skater has, like for yeah. sure. Yeah. It's like... Mm. What are you gonna say? It's just, yeah, it's what it is. Back over crook, front side nose grind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've caved, but like, know that when I was younger, I was like, it exists, I swear. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I, I never I've heard. I never Foy. heard. Foy's pretty. Uh, listen, calculated over here. Yeah, Mr. Pinch over here. Yeah, though. Mr. Pinch. Hail Mary, front side nose grind, calculated risk. Or front side over crook, calculated risk, nose grind. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh. Thanks for guys for coming. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. seriously. So, okay, we know Jamie's working on some shit right now. Obviously, team stuff team coming stuff. out. You're waiting for the people to finish their parts. You're not finished. Yeah, I mean, though, I'm either. not like yeah. waiting yeah, yeah, yeah. for them, but as a whole, we're waiting on, on each, each other. other. Yes, yeah. right. Patrick, you just came out with your little pro part, and congrats on that. By Thank the way, you. I think I mentioned that as well, and and with everything going on. But what are we working on? Are we working on something? Uh, right now there's like, I think just recovering and then a yeah, few trips right, lined up, a few contest trips lined up, okay. but like, oh, the I contest wanna, stuff. Yeah. You enjoy that? Uh, eh. I do it. Okay. I have to be there holding his hand saying, yeah. yo, you got this dog. Yeah, I was giving him shit cause, uh, he bailed on me. When oh, this Dubai. is sick. This is sick. Oh, what yeah, happened? This what is happened? sick. <laughs> bailed we on you. To, I went to no, Dubai. No, no. He told me he was going. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll I go. Was. I'll go. I was going to Dubai. Bailed on me. Three days before my flight to Dubai, I was at the skate park practicing for Dubai. Trying, you were going to be in the contest I was as in well. The, uh, in the contest, like signed up, ready to go, got the flight and everything, hotel booked, everything. Didn't bail. 
went to the skate park like three days before my flight to just go practice like skate the rail blah, blah, blah. and i went to i went to my local park i was in florida at ramp went to ramp just went to f- full cab back with the eight rail there for some reason i just like jumped off the board weird and just landed on the ground and my foot slipped and i like sat on my leg backwards all weird it was hectic and i was really nervous for like my leg at first but thankfully i got it all checked out and it was just like a uh a sprained acl mm. like grade two sprained acl and high ankle sprain okay so i was like as soon as it happened i was like man i really hope this isn't that bad because it didn't it felt weird it was one of those things where it didn't hurt you know it's just like at first it was like man this is weird i'm walking to the car i'm like oh, i gotta leave we left the park walking to the car get in the car i'm like oh i can drive like it's all good like because my right leg and then right when i get home i go to get out of the car like it's like shut down like i can't like i go to get out of the car and walk and i just like damn near fall to the ground i'm just like oh man like it's buckling yeah it's like... just like yeah i couldn't bear any weight on it wow. i was just like ah oh, shit this is not good but thankfully with red bull got everything checked out because they hooked they linked it up really fast because like i said it was only three days before the contest and usually stuff like takes a while to get stuff sorted MRIs out to get mris and, and everything but i red bull was like hey like, i told him i was like hey like dubai's coming up i need to make sure if I maybe can skate or maybe definitely can, whatever. Went and got an MRI, grade two sprain, high ankle sprain, couldn't skate. I was done. I hit him up. He's in Dubai. He's like, where are you? I'm like, man, like, I fucking buckled my leg. I thought I like, I thought I thought tore my ACL, but thankfully it's a sprain and everything. He's like, oh, damn. You fucking bailed on me, dude. <laughs> I'm, like, oh. I'm like, what do you mean, dude? He's like, yeah, dude, you bailed on me. Like, and meanwhile, I'm on his gram watching him skate the course, which looks dope. He's like riding buggies in the desert. He's like, uh, I don't know what else you're doing. Going to the beach, skating all crazy spots in Dubai. I'm like, yeah, I really bailed on you, dude. Fucking like having, a, having, a, good having time. a great time over there yeah. without me, you know? Right. And I'm just sitting there like doing PT, trying to get back on my board. Fast forward, that was in the beginning of this year. Yeah. Fast forward, whatever, three three months, four months. Here we are now. Right before he hurt his arm, I was on a trip with him in Boston, and I'm like, yo, dude, the next Olympic contest is coming up. And he was like, oh, I'm off it. I was oh. like, what do you mean you're off it? He's like, ah, oh, dude, I don't want to do that. Like, ah, I'm off it, dude. Like, <laughs> I was really trying gotta... to film and like. Yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, man, I got This is one of those other times. He's like, man, I got to film, dude. I got all this filming to do, dude. I got to film, film, film. I'm like, it's just a week, dude. Like, you go to Rome for a week. Sounds dope. You know, like, you just go hang out for a week. Take your body. You just skate for a couple, like a couple, like maybe an hour a day at these contests, you know? It's so it's like a little vacation. It's mellow, you know? And no, you're, you're skating. You're skating, but literally practice day, only 45 minutes of practice. You skate for 45 minutes. The day you skate in the contest, you do two runs, 45 seconds each. It's done quick. You want to skate good too, though. It sure. is. Yeah. You do. You film for like three months and you're going to go and just go to a contest with like the best skaters in the world. Like, mm. yeah, I want to at least it. be prepared for that. Screw shit, it. You're you know thinking about I mean? it too much. Think about He's it like, much. oh, no, you're fine. Just come hang out. Like, just, what just do you mean, go. think? He's calculating. I know. The risk <laughs> too much. He's calculating the risk. In, oh, in, I'm in doing negative. That. Yeah, and yes. he's in negativity. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh, is, there's a difference. He, he doesn't it's say, I don't want to. He says, I can't. I got to go film this and this and this. And I'm like, all right, what? Do this crazy blah blah, blah. and then I he's like and I finally talk him into it. And I'm like, all right, we're going to Rome, dude. Like, let's go. Come with me. Blah blah. He's like, all right, dude. All right, I'll go. So finally, like, he's figuring out the flights to go, and this is like a week prior to the contest. Uh, and that's when we're on the the Boston trip with New Balance. I leave to go do the jet ski thing. This fool calls me like, damn, I broke my arm. Blah blah. Meanwhile, the contest in Rome is a week away. So obviously he ain't gonna be able to go to Rome because of his arm, and I was just like, he's talking about, dude, I got surgery, like compound fracture in my arm, like ah, or it's kind of buck, dude. He's all bummed. I'm like, damn, dude, can't believe you're gonna bail on me like that. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Worst dude, <laughs> Worst dude. <laughs> fuck, I can't believe you're gonna bail on me to go to Rome. Damn. Like that's crazy. He, I ain't gonna lie. He, he, he was just threw wait, it right he back was at waiting you for I, that. I, yeah. if, as much as it, as much that. as I'm an asshole for it, it felt good. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he was waiting for that. Because at the time in Dubai, I was like, man, what the fuck? This is a motherfucker said I bailed on him, dude. I almost <laughs> fucked my leg up. Like, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to skate for who knows how long. And then this motherfucker just said I bailed on him in Dubai. Like, I wanted to go to Dubai. Like, 
Right. Yeah, and now he bailed on me to go to Rome. Damn. So we're yeah. even. So you're now. even. Yeah, yeah, now we're even. Right, right, right. Yeah, he was. A, yeah, I really. It was funny though too because the homie. I forget. Uh, fuck, who was it? maybe Tim or someone right away. The first one of the first people in the group that I was. Or, no, I think it was Darwin was in Florida with me, and Darwin's like, dude, Patrick just broke his arm, and I was like, damn, blah. But like he told me like. Obviously, you're okay. You're in the hospital already and everything. Mm -hmm. And then he's talking about, you need to get surgery, this and that. And I was like, damn, he's not going to be able to go to Rome. Uh-oh. Damn, he bailed on me. And I like told him the whole thing. He's like, I think you should like maybe not do that right now. <coughs> I was like, yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe wait a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Didn't wait. Talked to him that Did night. Not. Did oh. not wait. Can't believe you bailed on me, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. fucked up, man. Immediately. Fucked up. So I, I mean, made I you laugh. Okay, what are though? friends for? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, a little friend. jab here and there. It's just know? a little broken arm. Yeah, dude. No hey, deal. dude, he's healed quicker than, than Grayson, dude. He got Bionic Man. He's good. Listen, we're good. Well, we're dude, you're quick. On, you're, he not only like flipped Chevy Chase uh, set yesterday or two days ago. I was surprised. Oh, there you go. I got a little excited. He did. I was telling him to calm down. Well, I think he's doing all right. Hey. We're doing fine. Yeah. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Hail Mary. You, he's know? you guys both need to go to the contest together next time. Hail yeah. Mary. That's yeah. why I keep trying to What's, tell him. I'm yeah. like, bro, you might as well. I mean, my whole thing is like, might as well try. It doesn't even hurt, you know? <laughs> might as well try. Like. With a broken arm? Yeah. No, not the Listen, broken arm. Listen, a lot of things oh, yeah. are going on. He's going to be turning pro. He's, uh, the, you know, yeah, but that the, stuff comes with like, it happens anyways. The, the, the trajectory that he was on. Or like you know, he just wants to get shit done, anyways. So I think we were in a good it. path where like I was like yeah. filming a lot and getting a lot of footage, and it was like a really good streak. And I was like, hey, like I'm not really prepared to skate these contests right now. Right, sometimes right. you go to those contests and you do terrible, and then that fires you up to go get a beast clip too. Hey, dude, flying across the world to do bad in contests isn't really the best feeling. But there is good spots though, for sure. True, and it, it's 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 it's, fine. it's glass half full, you know, because then he yeah. thinks about it as like, damn, I flew all the way out here to skate this contest and i did bad or you think about it, i was like damn i just flew all the way out here i didn't really pay much to get here either and yeah. he's thinking about it differently but i want to i'm I in do good when i'm there i want to like i'm in dubai there. And, and like yeah I he's like you. he's just trying to vibe and eat pasta and shit yeah but you know what though like <laughs> i feel <laughs> might as well <laughs> eat pasta. I when in rome <laughs> i feel like this is a good balance though right i feel like jamie he's a good he's good for you yeah you know? for sure i mean the calculated risk economy. The, yeah. Calculated risk. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's Ying the Yang. Yeah. Ying the Yang. That's the theme of this episode. Man. It's yeah. funny too, because I mean Zion be that way too. Hail Mary. He's hail. Did you sure. not see those half cap backsmith <laughs> tries? <laughs> He's more those hail half cap backsmith tries were all hail Mary until he locked in one. You yeah. know. I know about Z. Trust me. I like hail Mary people. I guess. Yeah. You know? It makes it exciting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Pedro. Hail Ooh. Mary. Pedro's big Watching him must be nuts, man. God. Yeah, but also it's like, it's scary sometimes, but also he's one of those people, it's like, you know, yeah, it can be scary to watch skate sometimes, but also I know that he is really good at what he does. Does he commit mm -hmm. on every try that he tries? A pretty lot. Much? Yeah. But even when he commits, he can get out of it. Like, yeah. he has his own way to fall, and it's like him, you know? So it's like, you can't, you just gotta let him let it I, I trust him like you know it's like fuck like this is gonna be scary to watch yeah. but i know that he's really good on his feet he's well capable so yeah. capable and he's can he's built right where he could take a he could take a fall he takes right. some falls right. he just gets up he laughing. Can take those falls oh yeah for sure man hail mary people could be fun hail mary listen i don't know if i could watch a lot of this stuff like it I, irl like in real life it's it's <laughs> irl yeah you know what i mean <laughs> it's bro I feel like it's our, some of the shit's sketchy dude. there's been times where i'm like dude obviously i'm not like like we said like i skate a spot by myself a lot and he'll skate like spots by himself or like because we're skating big rails you know mm -hmm. a lot of times you end up there by yourself yeah and you kind of never, I never think about it on the other side. Like, oh, these fools are just going to watch me jump down this big thing. But I've gone to like something where someone's up there by themselves skating a big obstacle and I'm just like scared for right, them or right. something. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, wait, that's how like people perceive this. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, this is scary. I'd rather be up there myself. Like, this is always I mean, worse. It, it, listen, the, it's every, almost worse, you know? Everybody's so good, but at the same time, it's like, it's different. Like, you watch something on video, lot, nine times out of 10, the video doesn't even do it justice. Yeah, for sure. Wow. You go to the spot, you're like, what the Even hell? if you're going to the yeah. spot and you're looking at it, like car wash bank, like perfect. Like oh, it's bro. gnarly on film, yeah. but you go there and you're like, you're just like, nope. How? Yeah. How? Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Some people though, like, dude, there's some people where I don't even get scared. Like, watching. yeah, yeah. Some I don't people. Get scared. I don't get scared watching him skate a spot. Mm -hmm. He's I appreciate gonna do that. it. 
Well, what calculated risk? Yeah, but yeah. he's also like <laughs> you weren't there for the East Coast or West Coast humbly though. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly, I was not there for that. I, know, I, I asked my, I asked Sean, the homie Sean O'Connor was there, uh, and I mean I, we hang out all the time. It got brought up not that long ago. I was asking him, I was like, "Yo, do you remember that day? Like, exact? Like, you remember watching it happen? Like, not? Do you remember it happened? Because he remembers that. I was like, "Do you remember really watching it happen?" He was like, "Nah, not really." And then he thought about it for a second. He was like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I remember. Like, <sighs> it's funny because I can't even imagine. Hour. I've never like, I can't. I never really watched anyone. I guess Jay Gillardi, the big flip front board. Yeah. But that's mm-hmm. the thing. Like, it was scary to watch because he like sacked it and stuff. But that's not like flying to your face. Right. No. Yeah. Right. You're but just... which is crazy because I'm surprised. Like, I was, I was okay. You know, that's what a lot of people ask me too. Like, oh, is that your worst fall ever? And it's like, it's my most catastrophic fall, like visually. But as I said, I was skating 10 days later. Thankfully, like, I got an MRI, everything. I just strained my ligaments. I never, I just had to do, like, certain therapies to just get my mobility back. But it was like, it really felt like I had gnarly whiplash. So you've had worse falls that have taken you out for longer. Oh, yeah. I've had a curb take me out longer. Right. Literally. Like, roll my ankle on a curb out for three weeks. You know, like, just stupid stuff. But then, like, that's, like, just guardian angels, you know, looking over me. For sure. Because I don't know how. I, I watched the fall. I, I didn't watch the fall for like maybe two weeks after it happened. It's hard to like. Sometimes I was humble? just like, you didn't yeah, watch the humble, humble for like two weeks. Okay. Or no, 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 no. Nah, I didn't watch it until we were at, after we ate Chick-fil-A and then we, <laughs> it was in the car. It was in the car. It was, in, it was like, we, dude, random. <laughs> but one of the funny things about that is we were driving back from uh, New Mexico, Albuquerque. You know, that drive is not really much, you know, on the way. It's pretty desolate. Pretty desolate. Uh, there's this like it's funny because I've pulled over there after the fact I think last time I was over there I pulled over in the same parking lot because it's like the only gas station truck stop you know on the way to LA from New Mexico Mm -hmm. one of the first ones or something like that once you get to the middle of nowhere and I remember when I was went with Death Wish to there not that long ago we went there and I took a photo of it and posted uh, West Coast Humbler blah blah and then couple hours later we're driving out and we pull over at this gas station i'm looking around i get out of the car i'm like dude this is where we got where we pulled over right after i got smoked like this was our first stop after chick-fil-a after we ate because i needed to stop to get like hydrogen peroxide and all that stuff and like try to bandage myself up for the ride and i remember that day when i walked in i was like in the car sitting there i'm like man like i was gonna tell the homies to grab me a bunch of stuff but i was like man i'm just gonna start i need to move because i was sitting in the car for like an hour or two i was like i want to move so i was like all right i'm gonna go get the stuff myself i get out of the car and i'm like man people are gonna think i'm crazy you know because i'm just like bleeding out of my face like it's road rash all over the place you probably looked crazy yeah i look yeah. crazy like my hair's torn out yeah. you're humbled humbled yeah and i'm what limping you know just like with a shirt tied around like fake fake people uh, trying to give you change and yeah shit, I, look, like. I look i look <laughs> haggard for sure but i walked in and the security guard didn't even bat an eye at me, one, which I thought was funny. I thought I was going to, like, because the security is like a truck stop. He's just sitting there right in the front. Yeah. He's just chilling. I walked right past him. He didn't even break whatever <laughs> eye contact he was looking at. And I was like, okay. I walked inside. No one's saying anything to me. I'm like, man, I'm surprised. No one's saying or looking at me crazy at all. I go, I grab my supplies. I walk to the counter. And the guy just looks at me. He goes, oh, motorcycle accident? I'm like, nah, skateboarding. He goes, oh surprised i was like what the hell like these fool thought i was just a motorcycle vi- like accident guy just walking in like it was it so normal often, it i know must. it made yeah. it seem like it i was like i was like nah just skateboarding he's like oh crazy huh. be careful man i was like thanks dude, dude. like it was yeah. like it was so yeah, bad. out in the middle of nowhere they like, must yeah. see some weird i was like bro what do you guys shit, see over sure. here dude i was like this is crazy just another tuesday over here i know yeah. i was like bro I, I was like this is gonna be the craziest day for them walking in you know i was thinking and they're don't see anything like this but yeah, anywhere between like truck drivers and oh, like dude. lot lizards and all those types of people, like they're definitely lurking, you know. But those are the weirdest st- stops anyway on tours. When when you stop at a gas station or a little convenience store, that's like you've been driving for three hours. It's the only one. It's around. the only yeah, thing yeah, around. You're like, yeah. where are these people? Do do they live here? Do yeah. They, they, do they have a room in the back of the gas station? Yeah, like, exactly. Where that's like the exact from? type of place we were at. It was so crazy. I was just so surprised that no one cared. 
Because I was expecting people to go, are you okay? Like In like a yeah. city, they'd be tripping for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, 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 probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, in the middle of nowhere, they're just like, oh, well, this is just... Yeah, they were just so used to it. I was like, man. Like, he literally looked at me. He's like, oh, motorcycle accident? I just like, in my mind, I was thought that was so funny. I was just like, I didn't even think about that. Like, has, there, has there been an East Coast humbler? Fuck. Not that bad. Okay. okay nah. Okay. I mean, shit, I'd be getting humbled. <laughs> Where was your... Where was your humbler? Fuck. I mean, Princeton East might Coast. be an East Coast it was, so his, He has the East Coast humbler. Who? You? What, yeah, yeah, with his arm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to just go buckles, I definitely have an East Coast humbler. Probably, yeah. Dude, Princeton? Which one was Princeton? Oh, the front lip? Front lip on that kink rail? Humbled yeah. me. There's a clip in You Good where he sacks the Yeah, it's like the first rail. clip in You Good. Okay. One of the first clips in my part or something. Yeah, I like try to front lip a kink rail and there's an extra kink at the end. Oh, I think I know and what you're I, talking about. I oh. went through the first kink and like got shook off, jumped mm -hmm. to the last, like went to jump off and over the whole rail, but clipped my situation. <laughs> the front side, because I'm falling forward, so I clipped the front side of my situation on the <laughs> kink. Let's look at your situation right here. Yeah. All these buckles. This is some buckles, yeah. Yep, oh, here, it, here it is. That's the East Coast Humbler. Oh! oh! Yeah, that's pretty East Coast Humbler. Kind of caught that so you missed head. you, you kind of hit your situation but not no i fully dude my but your head yeah my head I mean, hit you, the were ground. More, you were more I worried tore, about your head my finger got torn a little bit like i tore my my fingernail off my finger it was a little weird ooh, 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 ooh. bro that's a i would say that's a humbler because after that i couldn't walk for like i couldn't walk for like a week after that you were like, which was crazy because of my my thigh getting caught on the kink rail oh that was your thigh like my frontal my it was my fr my pelvis, the okay. front of my pelvis. Got Dude. you. It was so bruised, like my situation was black and blue. Like really, I was tripping. I was looking. I was like, oh no. So we came up from the thigh and like <laughs> affected, infected, uh, affected your member. Yeah, just bam, <laughs> Dude, just situation frontal because it was all member. frontal. So right, it literally right. just yeah. Just, you were like in a head dive and then you sacked the rail. Exactly, yeah. crazy. exactly. Bro. And so it was crazy because this is. In, Pennsylvania, we're going from Philly to New York, okay. stopped at Princeton. This is at oh, Princeton. Man. And like literally a week after that, we went to New York. Oh. I couldn't do anything because we're walking and skating around New York. And I'm just like, I'm just going to sit in my bed. That that night, actually, we drove to the hotel okay. in New York, got to New York, waddling up to the room. I get in the room. This is the first time I laid down since it happened because we were just sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. I get in the bed. I lay down for like an hour, maybe two hours. And... Tom, the Red Bull TM at the time, was like, hey, we're going to go get food. You want to come with us? I was like, dude, I I cannot walk like that far. Like yeah. going down the stairs right now sounds like a mission. You know? mm -hmm. So he's like, all right, I'll get you some food. And I was like, all right, cool. He goes and gets me food, comes back, knocks on the door. Took me 20 minutes to get out of bed Seriously? to get to the front door. Because like, cause it was so like my whole pelvis situation was so bad that when I, I'm laying on my back, I go to like contract my stomach muscles to lean forward. Can't do it. Like, I couldn't sit up. I had to, like, push myself, roll over, oh. slide onto my knees on the ground, and then push myself off. The, like, I was like... I mean, are you worried about this? Uh, something's broken or not something? Not really. You know? Yeah. You thankfully, just... I wasn't because I was just like, man, I just got smoked. Okay. It's like, yeah. Okay. Thankfully. And then situation, like, I peed and no blood. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I mean, we'll Damn. see how it goes. Like... Usually I don't. Doctor Foy over yeah. here. Yeah. I love. I love. I run. That. Chick Fil A, good. Yeah. Piss, good. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Foy, yeah. It kind of shows you how he thinks about know, shit, though. Amazing. His brain works crazy. I love it. Dude. I love it. But yeah, that's that. That's my East Coast humbler. I'd okay. say that's the East Coast humbler because I got it, that sucked. Mm -hmm. Like that sucked. Mm -hmm. Front that was lip. one of the things. Yeah, that's an early rail though. It's a good rail. Yeah, it's a good rail. It was, got boards lit only. Uh, it's 50 50 quick kinks on 50 50s i don't like but hey quick kinks with a lip slide apparently i don't like neither because it did not work listen let's patrick let's stay away from west coast humblers dude let's i'm good I'm yes yeah. yes we well, can humble, all but stay it, away but from it, i'm yeah. good on like humbling's yeah. a part of life dude you don't pick them it just happens that's why know? it's called being yeah. humble yeah for sure because it's the ones where you're like ah we you got this. Yeah. 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 That's Nonchalant. the main that's the main reason the West Coast humbler is a humbler too. Because at least on that I was trying a front lip. You know, that was the that was the clip. Right. Oh, I'm gonna front lip this oh, rail. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. I, that was I, the like, actual I trick. hopped on a board slide and boards slid through it a couple times and I was like, All right, I can feel like I know what it feels like. But like the fifty fifty was first go mm -hmm. on that spot. I'm just warming up. Yeah. Humbled me. Damn. Damn, dude. Humbled. Hey man. 
you get you get back up and you do it, dude. Hey, that's you're, why we wax the, rails now. Yeah, I tell you, man. You learn from your mistakes, man. You learn from your mistakes. Hey, as we wrap this up, I just want to ask Patrick one last thing. I mean, in your part, I always trip out on this stuff because, like, you did the hard flip over the uh, the bump to bar, tail mm-hmm. smack, tail Bang. smack. Yeah, Heart, now it, it shot a. Uh, that was an ode to a shot, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was on purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you essentially backtailed the 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 Hard rail. Backtail. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, in your mind, is that a make? Is that like, are you like, okay, I'm oh, done, I'm we're, good, we're, we're taking, we're that. good, yeah, okay. Put the chillers on, got you're, in the van. Oh, the chillers are on we're after gone. that. Gone. But why though? You're. Dude, no. That was like, it a gnarly? That's a hard trick to do for bump to yeah, bars. Yeah, hundred percent. But because like your tail or but we've or seen it before. Like Mason Silver, way. remember he did the was it the front side flip over the thing, bonked it. Yeah. Some. Yeah. People, we're hey. just leaving those in now. It's kind of like that that factor of like it's like skating know, it adds almost, to it a little bit. It's like it's. I like, feel it's like, harder to do. I feel that. like it just falls yeah, into the whole yeah. like personal preference thing, you know. Um. It, that that trick I didn't expect to work. I was throwing a few tricks at that thing, and the hard flip like first try just went over. And then I and then I was missing it and I couldn't clear it and then like, yeah, the one that hit my feet that like I think I was like thirty minutes into this and like I started not being able to clear it mm. and I just like cranked one up and it it dinged the rail, I kind of blacked out a little bit and I was riding away and I was like, oh really? Oh, you blacked out on that fine? a hard flip over a bump to bar, but not the hurricane. I loved exactly. it. It added more and it actually kind of bounced it back up. Yeah, to your I think feet it was bit. sick. It yeah. gives it a little. It almost like yeah, the way it hit the rail and it came back to my feet. Yeah, right. Um, Dude, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, that's the thing. You land. I think it all comes down to how you land. You know, yeah, you, you land sure. structured. Like you're like, all right, cool. But look at this. Look how high this, it is over it. And look at this spot. Yeah. Looks crusty, bro. Look how like high it is over it though. Bump. It has nothing yeah. to do. It's just the board kept going. You know. And yeah. It, like, it's funny to me. People think that that was on purpose. I. Oh, people think that it's on purpose. Yeah, oh, for okay. sure. I was like, dude, there's, there's no, no way. there's no way you could. Oh, to a shot. But yeah. there's a clip of Shotty hard flipping a bumped bar, and it's like Skate Loop. Skate Loop posted it, and he does it the same way where he. I think he might have bonked his wheel though, or the nah, back of his. It was, it was the same. It was a tail. Yeah. It was a tail. But he too. lands off steel. He lands yeah. Yeah. leaning back. Yeah. So sick. Out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I like forgot that he like about that clip. But like this was pure luck. Well, I was just wondering, you know, when when that stuff happens, are you trying to redo it, or you just you put the chillers no. on and you were good? I liked it. I wasn't. Even, That's I, cool. I thought it added to it, and like in the in the footage, you can hear the dink. Yep. You know. Right. Right. But the, the chiller was definitely on after yeah, that. I love that. It <laughs> would be weird if like the nose hit going up and then it dinked it or something maybe i think it would have been weird if it would have done something like it would have made the board flip crazy yeah where I caught it and it left yeah. my feet but it like yeah it, caught it, it, it was solid after the rail, that. Mm-hmm. and then like like the land solid was fine look at yeah, that back so, tail like, yeah hard for the back tail hard for, hard, hard for the back tail that's like one of the Good. things where like you go too fast you hit the rail you go too yeah, slow yeah. you're not gonna clear it it's exactly. that yeah. because it's speed. a big bump yeah, yeah that bump looks like close bar just, kind it's of quick yeah so i got that speed but like i didn't clear the rail going down you know what i mean but yeah, we're, take, we're taking that. We're taking it. Oh, yeah. Cash that in. Cash that. It. Take that to the cashier. Take it all the way to the bank, baby. Listen, right. dude, Jamie Foy, you are the man, dude. Thank you for your 25th I'm taking appearance. a break after <laughs> this one, guys. What are you taking talking about, dude? I'm taking a break after this one. Oh. I'm going to say at least a next, year. We're planning out next week. Oh, hell yeah. no. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to be gone. All right, next video part. Next video part. All right, Come on cool. In. Yeah, so next, yeah, yeah, next Come year. God damn it. God damn it. I got his ass. Listen, Patrick, dude, congrats on everything, dude. But I'm, dude, big fan ever since Thank the, so uh, I, I really didn't really too much know about it you know, before three seasons, but man, you left you made a, you a, you made a, a big fan right here, brother. We, you know, I'll say this when we did uh, the experience show, we had like a, a Sody list and we would always put, I was like, you front shot 50 50, uh, Hollywood 16. And I was like, no, we have to put Patrick on there. They're like, he's not pro yet. I'm like, he is going to be pro <laughs> yeah. soon. We have to put him on that yeah, list. I kept telling him. Yeah. yeah. So many times he'd be like, I'd be telling him, dude, you just do this. He's like, well, sorry, bro, I'm not pro like you. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I told him, I literally hit, like, as soon as he went pro, he's like, ha, you got no excuse <laughs> now. You're running out of excuses now. Right? Running out, he's like, man, yeah. I'm like, yep, running out of excuses. I was like, yep, gotta get rid of all of them, oh, man. man. Get rid of them all. Yeah. But good stuff, dude. You Thank are, you. you got a bright future. Thank you, Chris. I mean, you're already, you're already killing it, but yep. dude, can't wait to see more out of you, man. You. Yeah. And uh, also, we missed Jerron today. He, yeah. he was man. out. Dubs. He was having his, yeah. uh, he had family in town, so he couldn't, he oh. couldn't make it today. So, uh, Hey, but family yeah, first, baby. Sh- family shout out first. to Jerron Wilson. Hell yeah. Usually Hell yeah, here, Jerron. but he couldn't make it. But yeah. uh, he'll be here next time you come out, Jamie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'll see him next year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us, man. Yes. Yeah.